Hello! Hello! Welcome everyone to Saturday here on RQ Streams. Uh, I'm Mike, I'm going to be your host for the day once again. It's great to see everyone here. Hi chat, hello, how are we? Oh my goodness, what a Saturday. Um, by the way, I kept the beard. It's still here, it remains. I decided after a long thought process that I would keep it for maybe like one more weekend um, so that you guys could enjoy the, the sheer splendor of... Uh, of my beard. <laughs> I, I know you guys have been telling me a lot of very lovely stuff. You, you guys have been telling me a lot of very lovely stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to fix the music in the background. Um, so I kept it. I kept it. Is that what you guys are still feeling? Where's my chat window? Jeez Louise. The lumberjack look. Yeah, kind of a little bit. Kind of a little bit. Um, oh wow. Yeah, lumberjack Mike. Do you know what? I need the plaid shirt. Today I've got my, um, I've got my Philosoraptor t-shirt on. Along with my nice little cozy quality uh, hoodie uh, for you guys. But yeah, it is the whole stream is in 1080p quality. Now, now, chat, two things. Um, I took on board your feedback from last time because some of you said you were having connection issues. Um, so what I've done is I've lowered the uh, refresh rate. I've lowered the upload rate of uh, Twitch. So, fingers crossed, that will fix the latency issue. I don't know if it will, but, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But if you guys are having problems, then let me know and I'll try and fix it again. Thing number two. Now, I've seen my boy Anil is in the chat already. I can see him right here. He's just off to this side. If I'm looking there, I'm looking at the chat. If I'm looking there, I'm looking at myself. So, <clears throat> I've seen that Anil's here. Now, Mods, who's online? I think we've got Zalia and Drup. Both of our expert mods are online at the moment, right? How are we doing, guys? You guys all good? Are you guys here? Possibly. I think I saw you earlier on this morning. Hey, there's Zalia. All right, lovely. Well, in that case then, chat and mods, you guys are going to have to help me today because I've had an executive order right from the top that if Anil does any modding today, any modding... You are to give him a timeout. That's the that's the executive order. It's above my head. It's above my pay grade as but a simple streamer. Um, I don't know what to tell you. But if Anil does any modding today, he gets a timeout. Yeah, you guys with me on this one because you guys have got to help me, Zalia. Um, yes, I am making Anil take a rest. Yes, Anil, this is happening. Um, so. I hope you guys, I hope you guys understand, I hope you guys can appreciate that uh, the boy needs to rest. He's been doing a lot of good work, but yes, he needs to rest. <laughs> Hello everyone. Now, I have seen that already we have a level 4 hype train because of all of the wonderful gifts and community subs that you guys are throwing at me. This is, this is unbelievable. Um, oh my goodness. Yes, Anil should rest. Yes, chat, Anil should rest. Now, I am gonna thank all of these people, but I need to do the admin chat. <laughs> I need to get through the admin. I haven't done any of it. <laughs> so, we are the Rusty Quill. Uh, we are a podcast production company, predominantly. We produce a series of award-winning podcasts like the Magnus Archives, Rusty Quill Gaming, Stella Firma. And right here, this is our streaming channel. If you want to find out more about us, you can go over to uh, www.rustyquill.com. We're available on there. You can go to the magnusarchives.com. We're available on there. If you are a new viewer, welcome! This is the Twitch side. This is my side of the uh, of the Rusty Quill that me and Anil, my streaming partner, have put together, uh, along with the help, obviously, of our wonderful uh, overlord, Alex Newell. Um, and I am going to be playing some games for you today. We're going to be encouraging you into new games that you might not have played before. We're going to be talking you through it a little bit and giving you, like, a live tutorial kind of vibe. It's going to be good. It's usually very chill. Usually. Um, today we're going to be playing Tharsis, which is a particularly interesting game. Um, I, uh, I really enjoy it, and I know, that when, um, I know that when we played this before on my personal Twitch channel, a lot of people enjoyed it, so I really hope that it's going to come through today. Um, if you want to join us, if you want to subscribe to us, feel free to do so. You don't have to. All of our content is free to air, all this sort of stuff. Um, but if you want to, you can hit subscribe here. You can also subscribe to us over on Patreon. If you uh, become a Patreon, you get advanced benefits for for uh, doing cool stuff. Uh, like, you get behind-the-scenes content. You get, um, what else do you get? You get, like, 
the scripts, you get early access to stuff. It's really, really cool. Check out our Patreon. Uh, if you put exclamation mark Patreon like our mod uh, Zalia has already done, thanks Z, um, then you can go to uh, Patreon. Also, at the moment, because of the COVID crisis, 10% of our earnings are going straight to um, the WHO Solidarity Response Fund. Um, so by sp supporting us through Patreon, you're also donating towards that as well. Um, and there's lots of other cool stuff that we do. Um, go and check it out. Just have a look at the website. It's all on there, honestly. It's really, really good, and I love being part of this company. Um, sometimes you do get videos of cats. What Zali is saying is absolutely true. That's a real thing. Um, but all of that aside, chat. All of that aside, today we're here to play some games. Now, I am going to... I'm really warm already, actually. Do you know what? I've been here for, like, two seconds, and I'm already, like, melting... Oh my goodness. Um, so I'm gonna give some shout outs to a few people because oh my lord, you guys have been you guys have been busy. <laughs> you guys you guys have been busy. Um so from the top <clears throat> Um Trinket the Cat, thank you very much for the two month gift uh, subscription. Thank you very much to 69 Cookies Gone for the five tier one community gift subs. Thank you very much to Mielbit for the two month uh, resub. Thank you very much and welcome back. Sharkhole, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Um, thank you very much to Molietsu, who's given five tier one community subs. Thank you, Charlie Fitz, for the 69 bits, and Molietsu for the 69 bits. Nice. Um, thank you very much to Wonder Woman for the five tier one community gift subs. 69 Cookies gone again for another 69 bits. Nice. Um, thank you very much to Prof Cryptid uh, for subscribing through Twitch Prime. Welcome to the channel. It's good to have you here. Um, hey, it's Sam D. Thank you very much for the eight tier one community gift subs. That's absolutely incredible. Pirate GF, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Tafiera, thank you very much for the five tier one community gift subs. Malevolent Mango, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Non-binary star system, thank you also for the 100 bits. And I like cetaceans, thank you very much for the 100 bits. I can finally get your name right at a whim. That's a personal achievement that I was not expecting to hit. Um, Wonder Woman, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Chaotic Awesome, also for the 69 bits. Molietsu again for the 69 bits. Nice. Um, 69 Cookies Gone, thank you again for the tier 1 gift sub. Raleigh, thank you very much for the 175 bits. Wow, thank you so much. 69 Cookies Gone, again, for a number another tier 1 sub. Uh, and also, thank you very much to Mooses Akul for joining the channel. <laughs> thank you for the follow. It's good to have you here. Oh my lord, I've never been on a hype train so early in the morning. Oh my goodness me. Um, people are saying that the stream is kind of buffering. Is this a big issue? Are a lot of people finding that the stream is needing to buffer? Is My butt's back. Cool. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that we managed to hit the, the level 5 already. That's incredible. Yes, choo-choo chat. Choo-choo! Um, yeah, thank you very much everyone who's joined. You've all got access to new uh, emojis and stuff like that now that you can use in the chat specifically for you guys. That's incredible. Uh, I'm glad that it's going really smooth for you. I've switched the profiles. Like I said, I've switched it so that now we're actually using a performance driven model instead of a quality driven model. So you may notice a few uh, drops in performance, but hopefully Hopefully not any drops in uh, in quality. Other way around. Hopefully you won't notice any drops in performance. I don't know. Hopefully everything will be fine. There you go. Now, I have to say again, thank you very much to my wonderful housemate. Now, my housemate has chosen this mug. Oh, you can't see it because of the blur. There we go. My housemate has chosen this mug um, as the as the mug du jour, which has my coffee in. But I think this is incredibly appropriate because I don't know how many of you guys, it is, it is a quote, it is indeed a quote, um, has infected by cats and now now running all over the apartment. Well, good, I'm glad. I'm glad that I could bring this to you. Um, because today we're going to be playing Tharsis, so this, this is definitely going to be, uh, <laughs> this is definitely going to be pertinent. Noel, thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Um, Alright, so like I say, today we are here to play some Tharsis. Now, dicey decisions. I know, I know. That wasn't me, actually. Do you know what? That was Anil. Uh, I know, it was brilliant. Thank you for the uh, saying it was the excellent... Uh, you like the mug. It was actually a mug that I got 
when I moved in here because my pre the previous tenants here just left it here. So we cleaned it thoroughly and now we've now we've got this. So um, I'm quite happy. Yes, it is cannibalism time potentially. Um, we're going to play. Should we play some games, chat? Let's play some games. All right. All right. Now, I have got all of this. I've got all of this ready. You ready? Pow. Right here. Here we go. Look, I've even positioned myself in a corner that is befitting. Hey, Mike, by the way, what did you apply for, says Dr. Tea Time? Well, Dr. Tea Time, well, I am going to keep it a very closely guarded secret. But I think if you think hard enough about it, you might be able to guess. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know. I'm just saying. Alright. Okay. So, I, um... I don't know how loud this is. So, if you think that this is, is too loud, then please do let me know. Um, I am, like, very steadily adjusting all of my audio bars to make sure that you guys get the best quality that you possibly can. Um, okie dokie, okie dokie. You're running for PM. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Uh, I am, in fact, running for the new Prime Minister of the UK. If you'd like to vote for me, tell all of your friends about RQ Streams and ask us to ask them to follow the channel. That's how you get voted into politics in the UK. Uh, I don't know if you know. That's actually literally how it works. Like, it does... It's not... That's not a ruse. That's not a ruse. Nor is it a cad flabbery. It is... It is that's the truth, uh, chat because I said it was true, and therefore, it is. <laughs> I think that's how it works. Um, anyway, so look, we did, we're going to play some games today. We're going to play a bit of Tharsis. Like, it, this is all very lovely, and I love you, chat, I do. Um, I think this time, Soldier Girl, thank you for following, by the way. Um, I think that this time, um, we should get down to it. I think we should. So, for those of you who haven't played Tharsis before, now this is a very different game. Are you here? Thank you very much for the 100 bits as a vote for me to be president. Um, so, Tharsis is a dice rolling, like, a dice rolling strategy game is the best way that I can describe it. Essentially, you're on a spaceship where um, you have to resolve issues and crises, and as you're resolving them, you resolve everything through rolling dice. You'll see how this works a little bit later in the game. It's very easy, it's very casual in terms of, like, its play style. If you're someone who prefers, like, uh, something that you can just sit down and play quite easily. Like, it's not that it's not challenging, just to be clear. This game, I've only ever fully completed this game a handful of times. Like, this game is hard, but honestly, worth it. Like, I love this game to pieces. The, the dynamic in this is so unique. The game style is so unique. The art style is wonderful. Let's just dive into it. So today we're going to be playing the full game. We might dive into some missions later, possibly. Um, but before we do anything, obviously, we have to make sure that we have our crew. Now, these are all the people that I have access to because I've played this game quite a lot. At the beginning, you will only have access to this top row here. And then you unlock these guys here. You can see I still haven't actually got someone unlocked. Um, because I haven't played that far through the game yet. That's what I mean when I say this game is difficult. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to pick some crew members. Each one of these has their own... Whoops, sorry. <laughs> has their own unique ability. Um, thank you very much. Oh my goodness, Chaotic Cuddlefish. Welcome. Welcome to the channel, Chaotic Cuddlefish. You absolute beauty, you. You absolute beauty, you. Nice. Um, so, I am going to pick a few different people that I think are going to be good for this run. It's very difficult to tell. So you'll, as you play the game, you will find people that you think you gel with a little bit better. Um, or you can just randomize it using the randomization button right here. Can I point at it? There. Um, so, I, uh, so, I'm going to talk you through a few of these. So, each crew has health and uh, stress as two bars that you have to manage through the course of this. Um, I'll explain more about how that works later. But essentially, the Dr. Kayla Jones, Jones, calling Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones 69 cookies gone now. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Um, the gift sub, sorry. And, oh my good, we've got a new, adoring Gastria. Welcome. 
welcome to the channel. Oh my goodness, it's so good to have you here. That, that, des that deserves a, no a just, a just one. Hmm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> thank you very much. So, here, um, we can choose to have Dr. Kayla Jones, whose special ability is to give plus one crew, uh, plus one health to the crew, sorry. So, um, if she's in the same module as them, she will then give them plus one health if you roll high enough. The specialist, Alison Silver, she allows, uh, she's allowed to have one extra re-roll. So, in the standard base game, you get one extra re-roll, so you roll your dice, then you can roll them a second time if you don't get the result that you want. She gets three. That's her benefit. The mechanic um, gives you another skill, which I think is very important, which is plus one to hull. So, Pakal, um, he basically, can, from any room, can repair the hull of the ship. If the ship um, becomes too damaged, you lose the whole game. That's it. It's over. You might as well go home, call it a day. The captain uh, gives plus one dice to everyone uh, in the module that he's in. As time goes on, as you take a turn, you lose one dice for every turn that you take. You can have a maximum of five or six, I think it is, and all the way down to one. You'll never have lower than one. But he just gives you an extra dice because, you know, Jean, he's that kind of guy. Now, these guys are the bonus unlockables. So, as I was saying earlier, John Park, he's the psychologist. He can reduce people's stress by 20% if they're in the same module as him. I'll explain how stress works later. Nikki Karim uh, does automatically for repair to any place that she's in. Um, I'll explain how that works later, but basically, repairing each problem is how you resolve the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you have to repair problems by a certain value, and she will automatically do it by four for any value that's lower than four. So her base repair is four. Um, Yuri ignores movement damage. If you move through areas that are damaged, you take that you take damage, but he doesn't. And Joy uh, gets plus two to assists. Assists help you as you roll dice. So there are negative consequences sometimes for landing on certain numbers. She helps to mitigate that. That's fundamentally how the game works. Mike, you reduce my stress by 20%. Well, uh, hey, it's Sam D. I'm really glad that you feel that way. I think one more time, I think a compliment like that, which not only was a compliment, it was also redeemed using our brand new logo that I've added for Rusty Bits in this stream. I dare say. I, I, I dare say. Mm, yeah. Mm. Um, <clears throat> right. Okay. So. Let's pick some crew. So I am going to unselect all of these guys. Um, I think we're going to pick it from the ground up. So, for the purposes of the first run, because I know that some of you guys have played this before and some of you haven't, um, I think we're going to start with Kayla, because I like having um, Kayla on my team. Niblick, I, I do dare to say. I sometimes... Sometimes I, d I know. New logo. I know. It's lovely. It's a proper lad sip. It is. Lads and or blokes. It's a lad sip. I... Who else am I going to pick? I love having Pakal. Now, there's a bit of controversy, apparently. I was reading up on Twitter, and there's a bit of controversy about having Pakal on your team. Like, some people don't like it. And, and I don't know why. Like, genuinely, I think that he's actually one of the most beneficial people that you can pick, but... You know, say no more. Now, I'm going to choose Nikki, and there's a reason behind this, which is that Nikki, Nikki Karim is, um, Nikki Karim is the MVP. I love Nikki. If Nikki was a real person, Nikki is the kind, she's the one that you marry. Like, she's the, she's the one. She is the one. Nikki Karim, the commander of our ship. She, ah, oh, man, she's unbelievable. Now, the reason for this is because when I was playing on my channel, Nikki was actually the one that every single time we played with her pulled us through everything. Everything. Wife on an RQ stream? I know, I know. It's unheard of to talk about wives in an RQ stream. Um, and yet, here we are. Drinking that respect, respect Nikki juice. Oh yeah, oh in a major way, Bri Brioma, honestly, in a major way. Um, so I'm gonna bring her, and you'll see why. Um, now the last person is always a little bit difficult, because I never really know who to pick. 
Jean has a really good skill set, but sometimes is a bit useless. Allison, again, is a bit neither here nor there. Um, you know, because I haven't actually played with John that much, I might choose John Park, because I think that reducing the stress is going to be something that's particularly key. Um, Zalia, can we just have a quick uh, Anil check-in, please? Is Anil modding anything right now? Tell me that he's not, Z. If he is, we're... We're going to bring it down. Right at the beginning of the stream, Z. We're going to have to take a hard stance. He's not. Okay, good. Well, you, you're going to keep an eye on him, yeah? You're going to do that for me. Thanks, Trup, by the way. He's not modding, just chatting. Okay, Anil... I'm glad that you're here. You know I love you very dearly, and I just want you to be happy. <laughs> I do. So, please, make sure that you are taking a break today. Um, okay. This is the squad. This is- this is the team. This is the team. I've switched out of mod mode as well. Good. I'm glad, Anil. I'm glad. We have a newspaper ready for bapping. Keep it on the roll, Drup. Keep it rolled. We're gonna need it. A good egg, Anil. Indeed. A very good- Anil is a very good egg, and we love him very much, and that's why we tell him not to work. Now, okay. I am going to- oh no. Oh no- oh no. What chat? What has happened? <laughs> what has happened, chat? Oh my lord. It's full of eggs. The chat- it, uh, the chat is full of eggs. <laughs> oh my lord. Mm. I know I started it. I know, and I'm, I apologize. Right, okay. This game is hard. I am going to play it on easy. Mostly because I am pretty useless at some things. This game is one of those things. So, this is how we're going to kick off. We'll start on easy. If we manage to finish, we might move up to normal. But for right now, like, I don't look at hard. Hard is like a level. Like, it's four levels beyond my ability. Oof. Um, so I, I'm going to start here and we'll go. You ready, chap? We're online in Tharsis in three, two, one. We had prepared for any disaster, for every disaster. Not all of them at once. We can't turn back, but how can we go on? Oh boy. Oh boy. All right then, chat. So here we go. This is how it all starts. So micrometeoroids have destroyed the pantry and crippled the Iktomi, which is the name of our ship. Jay Cross, another crew member, has been ejected into space and Mapia Musgrave suffered a fatal injury. So we have Jay Cross, who's now gone. He's like spiraling out into, um, into space. I say he, it could be anyone. They. They are spiraling out into space and Mapia Musgrave, they are, they are dead. They, they've just been outright killed. Straight from the beginning of the game. Thank you, chat, for the Fs. Um, is Frankie here as well? Possibly. No, Frankie, Frankie is here. And is it cannibalism time? No, chat, it's not cannibalism time yet. Okie dokie. So, this is how the game starts, like I say. So we've got two issues that we need to resolve. So from the top down, the 11 here, for example, and the 9 here are the numbers that we need to roll with our dice to be able to resolve the issue. The coloured dice are then the hazard, so this is a stasis dice. Blue means stasis, if you roll that, your dice will no longer roll. And um, red means that someone takes an injury. So this is their health here. Once that gets to zero, they die, and you, lo you permanently lose that crew member. Um, then at the bottom, you have what the effect is. So if you don't resolve the issue, in this case, this red line here corresponds to these red lines up here. And basically, you, it means that the ship will take some hull damage. So, very important to measure all of this stuff. Seahawk, thank you very much and welcome. Thank you very much for the two months uh, sub. It's great to have you here, as always. Chat can have a little cannibalism crunch as a treat. Crunchy, it's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. Meat cubes, indeed. So, here's what we're going to do. Each of our crew members here has these little white icons down here. That's the number of dice that each crew member has. So, Nikki has four, Pakal has three, John has one, Kayla has two. You can increase those as we go on. I'll talk about that later. This, as I've said, is their health. This is their stress bar. So, maintaining a level of stress is very important, but I'll explain why later, because you it's a little bit... 
it's a little bit complicated if I explain it now. So basically what we have to do is choose who's going to do what. Now, because Nikki has the most dice and this is the highest number that we have to tackle, I am going to send her in here. So we deploy her to the bay. Hi Mike, my friend wants to know if you've seen Half-Life but the AI is self-aware. I did. It popped up on my uh, on my Twitter today, and I thought it was very funny. Um, <laughs> I love how he, I love how the guy just sits down, it's like just sitting, wait for the end. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, also, hi, welcome, Sixter. Good to have you here. So at this point, everything is bad. All of all of no, this all of this badness is is happening, uh, and we're going to try and resolve it. So Nikki, roll them up. Now, we've had a pretty good roll, but obviously we rolled a one. I was explaining a little bit about this earlier. So ones in this area put dice in stasis. Now, what happened, though, was we had one assist, which is up here. We now have no assists. Um, so we had one assist up here, which will look like a little blue arrow, and that stopped that dice going into stasis. Now, we've rolled 12, which is very good. Um, on the screen here, you'll see a lot of information. In this particular module, every module has things that you can do in it. Bearing in mind, this is very complicated. Like you'll you'll get it by the end, I hope. Um, it, it honestly, it'll come. It will. It will. Um, so here we can repair the hull. Here is our class ability. So this is the module ability. This is the class ability. As I was saying, for anything higher than a one, that's what this means. We will do four repair. So if I put this one in here it repaired the hole by four. So now all we need to do is make seven. So what we will do is we'll put the five in here and the two in here. And now you can see the event has been complete. We're out of danger. We did it. We did it, chat. Oh my goodness. It's great. But we have one dice left over and nothing to do with it. Or do we? Because, chat, we also have research down here. Now, research allows you to get access to a variety of things. These are all randomly generated. So, at the moment, for two research dice, so having two dice of research, we can call home, which reduces 10% stress for all of the crew. Very useful. For two dice, we can have a snack, which gives plus one die to each of the active crew members. So you can think of dice like food, kinda. For one, we can use a small health kit to add plus one health to the active crew member. So if we put this in here and we use this one, it would give Nikki plus one health, which may be useful, but I'm going to save this until later in the stream because who knows what's going to happen in the, in the really, really bizarre world of Tharsis. So because we have nothing else to do, we'll finish our deployment and we come back to the main screen. You guys get it? Are you, are you following on so far? Hmm. Maybe a little bit. Possibly? I don't know. We just get hungry. Okay, well, as long as that's the result. As long as that's the end result. Um, vaguely. Good. Well, if it's just vaguely at this point, that's fine. You you will get this by the end, honestly. As we play through, you'll see. So, let's resolve another one. So here, this is possibly going to do some health damage to one of our crew members, so we should use someone who has high health. But we need to roll nine, which means that we either have to roll our maximum roll on two dice, or not necessarily our maximum roll on, like, well, almost the maximum roll, sorry, but not necessarily the maximum roll on three. Now, Pakal has two health, but I'm confident that if we put him in here, he will probably be able to resolve it. So that's what we're going to do. So you can see here that the battery charge, dis we have a battery charge discharge unit failure, um, which means that it's causing badness to happen essentially so we'll roll it up and hopefully not roll a five okay so what we've done is we have rolled an eight which means that we don't actually have enough to be able to resolve the situation however what we can do now is we can put our six in here to bring this down to three and now we have two dice with which we need to roll three or higher because they're both one, it means that basically we don't really lose anything by re-rolling unless both of these roll as a five. In which case, well, Pakal is, <laughs> Pakal is done for. So let's roll it up and, uh, and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Whew. 
So we rolled a four, which means that we're able to resolve the issue. So we put the two in here, we put the two in here. Everything is fine. And now we finish our deployment because we have nothing else to do. And we're back to the main screen. Now, we still have two crew members that we need to use. You have to use all of your crew members before the end of a deployment in order to be able to uh, progress, basically. There's one last thing I need to mention, which is at the top here. So we're currently here. You can think of this like a map. We're here. It's 10 weeks to Mars, so we have 10 things that we need to do before we get to Mars. Each of these arrows denotes... There'll be one here as well. Each of these arrows denotes what kind of a hazard we are going to face. Green is a relatively straightforward hazard. Amber is a potentially difficult hazard. Red is doom. Um, so we want to avoid doom. Uh, that's what we're trying to avoid here, chat. Imminent doom. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to use the rest of our crew members to prepare ourselves for doom. Um, so what I would like to do in this time, each of these areas, like I say, has their own unique ability. Now, our hull is actually doing pretty well, but our people are not. They're not very healthy. They haven't been well fed. We have some food up here, which we use at the end of the round. So I have a choice. I can either give them more food or I can give them more health. Right now, because the hazards aren't that bad next time, I think what I'd like to do is heal everyone. So I'm going to take uh, John, who doesn't actually need that much health right now, but only has one dice, so there's limited stuff that we can do. And I am going to take him down here and try and relieve some of his stress. Mizface, thank you very much for the tier one gift sub. Um, so we're going to take him down here. And we're going to roll it up. Now, there's no hazard, so we haven't got anything to worry about. We just need to roll higher than a five. Which, which we didn't. Which we didn't. Um... <laughs> Which is pretty useless. So <laughs> I'm going to re-roll this. Well, that sucks. So we rolled a two. <laughs> we rolled a two... Which means that we can't do anything. So I'm going to put it into research instead. Because basically, each time you roll a dice, you can put it down here as a research slot. But as you've probably noticed, I rolled a four. That went into the four slot. I rolled a two. That goes into the two slot. Now, now that we have two, I can now use the call home perk if I want to. Which I'm going to do because at this stage in the game, this is very, it's very easy to neglect stress. And actually it has quite a large impact in the late game. So let's mitigate it now. We'll reduce everyone's stress by 10%. And now you can see that's gone and we now have something new. So there we go. That is the end of John's turn. John? Where are you, John? John? I'm watching you. I'm watching you, John. Um, <clears throat> all right. Okay. So now we have Kayla. Um, she is the last person to go. Now, Kayla needs... Uh, she hasn't got that much stress now. Thank you very much to the actions of John. So what we're going to do is we are going to put her in the med bay. Now, similar story. What we need to do to do health recovery in the med bay, we need to roll above a five. So let's roll them up. Why is it with twos? Why, where are all of these twos coming from? Oh my god. Right, okay. Let's try again. Wow. Okay, alright, fine. So we've rolled a three and a four. <laughs> which means... Which means that we can't do anything apart from put them back into research. Now, if we wanted to... We could give Kayla, give, give Kayla little bit snack, but I'm not sure because we've actually used quite a lot of research in our first turn. Could, we could give, give Kayla little bit snack, chat, but I'm not going to right now um, because I don't think that's a good use of our research right now.
to Amanda Nikki there on the comms. <clears throat> so, right. Today, we have these choices in this day that we find ourselves in. So at the end of every round, there's a decision-making phase, which gives you multiple choices. Now, these choices are driven by the amount of stress that the crew is under. If they're under less stress, that means they'll make better decisions. If they're under more stress, that means they'll make worse decisions. And if they're under extreme stress, which means that the bar is all the way at the top, then ultimately they will make near-death decisions. So we want to avoid that. Ex Labritzcro, thank you very much for the two bits. Nice. Um, so, 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 what have we got? Let's take a look. So on the left here, we've got... I have to, if I have to sift through some buggy code one more time, I'm gonna smash my fist through the monitor. Solve these so the work doesn't get lost. Which is relatively threatening, in my opinion. Um, and that gives us plus two assists, but minus one to hull. Little bit awkward. And on the other side, as, as an alternative, for some reason this has landed as boys versus girls. I'm not entirely certain why, it's not always like that. But on the other side, we have, hey, why aren't you listening to me? We need food and we need it now. Which means that we get plus one food, but minus one hull. So with both of these situations, um, we, get, uh, we get minus one hull. So we have to decide what it is that we want. We have to choose one of these options. Our hull is okay. So losing one probably isn't that bad, but I think that ultimately the assists in the early game aren't really going to do us very much and ultimately they'll just get spent like that honestly they just go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go for plus one food now after we've gone through the first round chat i'm gonna throw these decisions to you um so ultimately what you'll get to say is which decision you want to go with so just understand this is how it works vaguely um and so we're gonna go for food this time Food allows us to feed our crew, and through feeding the crew, people get plus three dice. So the people that are best to give food to is anyone that has three dice or fewer. Yeah, Crunchy, don't worry, we're getting to the munch, we're getting to the munch or nonch. We're getting there, don't worry, we're getting there. Um, so we get the plus three dice for each of these. So you can see Pakal, Kayla, and John are the likely people that we would probably want to give it to. Nikki uh, is only missing two dice, so we don't really get the maximum efficiency out of giving her the extra one. The cooler mi The cooler mic? What? Thank you very much for the one month sub. Woof. Oh my lord. Man, what a gauntlet to throw down. Jeez Louise. Um, all right. Well, we'll see. We'll see how that comes out. Try and be as cool as me. Honestly. You'll fail. <laughs> anyway. So I am going to give food. No one is cooler than our mic. Oh, that's not necessarily true. Like, I think, to be fair, in truth, right? In truth, I think that there are people who are cooler than me, right? People who are cooler than me. The short list, just off the top of my head. Um, probably... Exil Brits Crow, thank you very much for the 67 bits. Nice, I see what you did there. Um, now, people who are cooler than me... I mean, definitely not Frank, that's for sure. People who are cooler than me um, are most likely George Clooney, right? He's pretty cool in most of the films that he's been in. Um, What's the name of the guy who was in um, that all of those things? What was the name of the guy who was in... Um, Mike is banned from my Twitch for lying. Frank, come on now. <laughs> come, come on, come on now. Come on, come on now. Come on now. Look, if you want to take this outside of Twitch, we can do this. That's fine. I'll, I'll chat with you on Twitter. Um, what was the name of the guy? Yeah, Ma it's me versus Frank in Mario Kart to decide who is cooler. You heard it here first, chat. What was the name of the guy? What was the name of the guy who was in the thing? His name is, um... Oh my god, he was in Hamilton. Come on, Mike, nobody is cooler than Frank. I mean, that's not strictly true. I mean, Frank is very cool, don't get me wrong, but that's not strictly cool. 
Yes, Lin Manuel Miranda. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Lin Manuel Miranda, definitely cooler than me. Um, yeah, Lin. Yeah, thanks, chat. Lin Manuel Miranda. Um, who, who else is cooler than me? Brad Pitt. Yes, cooler than me. Um, what's the name of the guy who plays Captain Holt? What? I can't remember his name either. Mike is. Mike, I'm taking my bits back. How do you forget Lin Manuel? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The guy, yeah, Andre Bauer. Bra Brower? Brower? Is that how you pronounce it? Andre Brower, definitely cooler than me. Like, that guy is a Shakespearean, like, classically trained actor who ended up absolutely smashing it on a comedy show. Like, that's that's unbelievable. 9-9, nine, nine, am I right? Um, and possibly... Well, most other most other celebrities, to be honest with you. Um, in fact, I was chatting with uh, another Twitch streamer the other day. Sorry, let me give some people some food. Um, I was chatting with another Twitch streamer the other day. I don't know if you've heard of her. She goes by the uh, pseudonym... Uh, pseud pseudonym? Who, who am I today? The pseudonym Lucky Bones. Um, I don't know if you've heard of her. She's an Australian streamer, um, and she's really cool. If you haven't seen her channel, go and check it out. Um... But yeah, Lucky Bones and me, we've been chatting over Twitter a little bit. And she's super cool. Like, she's she's a million times cooler than me, honestly. Like, you should you should definitely get on that. Right, anyway. <clears throat> Mike yells with the exact same energy as how do you do, fellow kids. Wow, thanks, thanks, Frank. I'm glad. Why are you being... Frank, what's going on? Frank, do we need to talk about this? What What is happening today? 69 cookies gone. Thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Um, Frank, Frank is right. Oh, uh, well, I mean good. I'm glad. Okay, Lin-Manuel Miranda is allowed, but I stand by saying Mike being coolest. Well, thank you, Suspiciously Gay. I, I appreciate that because Mike is the coolest. Oh, thank you, 69 cookies gone. That's amazing. Um... Frank has been bullied by Johnny already today. Be nice to them. Oh, Fra Frank, don't go projecting on me now. Come on. Like, we're mates. Don't go projecting on me. You know I'm on your side, Frankie. There's no need for all of this sass. There's no need. All right? You know I'm here for you. You can chat. You can call me if you want to. Right. So we are going to unblock our thick. Now, that does not say thick. <laughs> that says we're going to unblock the ICC. <laughs> Okay, all right, fine. This is what we're going to do. We're going to unblock the ICC, which is not thick. It's it's the opposite of that. So, like we did before, we're going to roll it up. With the possibility of death. Wow, okay, all right. So, three, one, and one. Now, to be fair, this puts us in a bit of an interesting position. Because, although we lose, like... We lose some of our dice if we get this wrong. That's the ultimately what will happen. We do have doubles. Now, these symbols here mean that the dice have to be the same. So, if you put a dice in here, then whatever you put in here and in here have to be the same as the first one. So, we could repair the hole by two and then get someone else in to come and resolve the rest of this issue. But, that being said, I'm not sure... I'm not sure that's wise. I'm not sure that's wise. Send Kayla to make it Dr. Thick. <laughs> I mean, yes. Chat has declared it thick. Okay, well, if it's thick, then it's thick. We're, we're unblocking our thick. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to re-roll the whole lot, I think. I'm going to re-roll the whole lot. Because I think, yes. See, look at that. See, now this is what I love about this game. Like, you situations turn, like, on a penny, honestly. So, we now have 13, which means that we can resolve this issue by using all of our dice. There we go. Job done. Easy, easy mode. Because we are, in fact, on easy. So, we're going to finish our deployment here. Um, this here, instrumentation cargo compartment. compartment thick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> right, okay. So we repaired the thick. Our thick is now gone. We are regular once again. Noble Jess, thank you very much for the tier one. Oh, for the tier one gift sub. That's awesome. Um, Molly Atsu and uh, Ex Exlabritzcrow, thank you very much for the 69 bits as well. Nice. 
Um, okay, so now we have, uh, we've got to repair this 12, otherwise we, everyone loses one dice again. In here, we only have, um, we only have, uh, stasis dice, so we don't necessarily have to worry about people's health in here. But what we do do, well, what we do do, to do do up, is we need to put this, we need to put Kayla or John in here, because this is going to be a big roll. So, because John is useless, I am going to put John in there first. And we'll roll it up and see how we do. Exactly as I expected. However, fortunately, we have rolled exactly 12. Um, we have rolled exactly 12. So... That's quite nice, actually. I take it back. John is not useless. John actually did a really good here, irrespective of the stasis. So we're going to put all of these in here. And that's it. All of the problems have been resolved. Rip to John. Look, okay, look, maybe it was a bit harsh, okay, chat? Maybe it was a bit harsh, but he really let us down the first time. I'm willing to give him another chance, but goodness me, you don't often get second chances in this game. When we get, when we get into the later stages, you'll see just how brutal this game is. Uh, right now, it's easy. This is fine. The late game, though, woof, woof. Right, okay, so, the next person, now that all of the danger is out the way, we need to make some decisions about the ship. So, we don't have that much hull anymore, because obviously we had to take the hull hit last time. So, because our, because Kayla's health is okay, and her stress is still very manageable, I'm going to put her in the back over here, back into the thick compartment, the thick rump, you might say. Does that work? I don't know. And roll it up in here. So we need doubles. So we got double fours. That's pretty good. So the hull gets repaired by two. I am now going to re-roll these to see if we can get another four. And we didn't. We got a one and a three. Now, that's not the best because what this means is that we can't actually use that three. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use the small health kit on Kayla. Now, the way these dice work, something to bear in mind, is that when you're using um, Mike Y, please stop. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Thanks, chat. So, when you use these dice, they always go from left to right. So, if you use one, it will use this one, unless that space isn't filled, in which case it will use this one, and so on and so forth. So, that's why I didn't put the one in first. So, it used the three instead. And now, we can put the one and the three into here. We've repaired the hole by two. I'd say on balance, that's a pretty good go. Now, Pakal, <laughs> Pakal, bless his little cotton booties. They, he is having a bad old time. He is having a bad old time today, chat. So we need to get him back. We need to get him back on top. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna concentrate on his health because his health is definitely going to be a concern towards the later game. So we just need to roll one five. Wow. <laughs> what? Why does this happen when we don't need it to happen? All right. Okay, fine. So we've rolled two. We've rolled two fives. That belongs to the Curse Meredith stream. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, Moose Circle. Um... We're gonna we're gonna heal his health because now he's at full health, and we're actually gonna repair the hull by another one, so that now our hull is nearly full and Pakal is back on top. He looks a little bit depressed because he's a bit he's a bit hungry right now. He just needs to get some food in him and then he'll be okay. So now there's nothing that's gonna go wrong. We carry on. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So, now, we have a decision to make, chat. So, on the left, we have got plus one dice for all of the crew, but minus one health to all of the crew. Pretty damning. Alternatively, we have plus two health for us and minus one to hull. 
Thank you very much, by the way, Electric Arcana. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Um, so this is where the decisions get a little bit harder. Thank you very much, Moliatsu, for the five tier one community gift subs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you. Wow, that is, that's incredible. Thank you so much. Um, so this is where you get to decide, chat. You guys at home, you get to decide along with us. So just give me in the chat left all right. What would you like to do? How would you like to go? Chat's already saying protect Nikki. Um, I think that that's probably a good idea, maybe. What have we got here? Right. There's a lot of right. Right. A lot of instant right. Give them health. Left. Interesting. Right. Okay, so the majority of the chat is saying right. So we're going to go right. We're going to give them the health back and we're going to take the whole hit. Bearing in mind that obviously... These two were the two that actually needed the health, so there we go. We take the one hit. That's pretty good. Well done, chat. I, I am proud of you guys. Oh my lord, I'm proud of you. Okay, so we don't have any food, which means that we can't recover any of their dice. So now what we're going to do is finish and start the next round. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is where things start getting a little bit dicey. So, we have a 27 to resolve and a 14. Now, this is what I was saying. Now, because this was a red, I know, I know chat, I can see you telling me off. So, because this is a red, that is what red means. We've got a 27 to resolve, and if we don't resolve it, it damages all of our crew by one. So, because, because this is a... Um, <laughs> Because that is going to be a massive problem, but I mean, we did mitigate it a little bit by giving these two uh, a load of health and everyone's pretty much on maximum. This may actually be a bigger concern because we can take one of those, but I mean, this will come into play later in the game. So minus one food. We currently have no food. So this is the biggest concern right now. But over time, this is going to become a lot more serious. So now we have to start considering what would we do if we can't actually resolve both of these. No food, no problem. Well said, Crunchy. Well said. Um, so what we have to think about now is long-term strat. Now, over time, this is literally going to kill us. <laughs> um, so I think that's the one that we're going to need to tackle first. However, the maximum number of dice that we have to roll is only three. So, okay, do you know what, right? Seeing as you guys chat, seeing as you said I was too harsh on John, I'm going to send him up here to try and resolve this first. So, let's roll it up. Right. Well then. Chat. <laughs> Now then, I'm not going to say it again, because I know that you guys are going to tell me off. But yikes. So we need to flat re-roll that whole roll. Well, you know what? It's... Better than it was before. Just eat him. Oh, God. Wow, chat, that escalated quickly. Jesus, we've just put him in here. We don't. We're not gonna eat him now. We can't. We can't just eat him. Oh my lord, chat. Who? Who are you? Who are you, chat? Right. Yet. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Right. Okay. So there's pretty much nothing that we can do here. We could repair the module by three, which would take it down to, what, 24? But even then, we're only repairing it by nine, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Are you here, by the way? Thank you very much for the 100 bits. And hey, it's Sam D. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Um, This is difficult. This is difficult. I think what we're probably going to have to do is we're just going to have to chuck all of these dice in there. Chat is hungry. We didn't get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> okay. And so we instantly, instantly turn to cannibalism. You know exactly who we are. No, that is true. All right, fine. Let's chuck these in here. It's down to 18. That's the best that he's got. 
But that puts us in a really awkward position now. It's going to have to be Kayla. We've, we're going to have to send Kayla in here because otherwise... Yeah, we need to. We need to. See now. See now, chat. That. That is a roll. <laughs> that. That is a roll. Oh my lord, Kayla. What an absolute stunner. Okay, alright. So Kayla's at full health. We don't need to worry about that. I'm not fussed about assists right now. I think we're just going to put the 6 in here and the 5 to bring that down to 7. Then we'll probably use the duct tape to bring it down to 4. Then what? So because Kayla's doing so well, I'm going to give I'm going to give her a little snack. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give Kayla like she's got some little like Pringles stored down in one of her spacesuit pockets. I'm going to give her a little snack on some Pringles. We're going to put the one back into research, and then we are going to walk away. 69 cookies gone. Thank you very much for the tier one gift sub. All right. Okay. So now we have two people who are on one and two dice, respectively. So. Do we take... Do we leave this here and focus on this with the other two? Or... Oh, wow. Miss Zilla M. Thank you very much for the 420 bits. Blaze it! Oh! Oh! Oh, my lord! Mmm. Tastes of blazing it. Okay, so I think what we should potentially do is actually focus on this one. Because then next time we've got two amber problems that are coming in, we know that these two are going to just be dealt with. Like that, they'll be out the way. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to send Commander Nikki in here. We're hoping for the big double six. That's what we're hoping for. We're hoping for 12. Nikki. Oh, oh, oh my god. I genuinely thought that was going to happen as well. Genu genuinely for a second then, I actually thought we were going to see the big double six. Um, okay, so we'll shove the six in here. We'll put the three in here because remember, this means that we repair... Sorry, this here means that we repair anything under, uh, under the value of four by four. So we'll put that in there. Both are now down to four. And what this means is Pakal now has the one single chance of actually resolving one of these issues. Okay. All right. So, yeah, Nikki for MVP, 100%, by the way. So, which do we do? Because here's the dilemma chat. Now, you remember I was telling you when you move people through areas that have problems, they take a, they take damage. If we put him up here with these two and resolve this, it means that everyone is stuck in that part of the ship. And if this gets a problem next time. However, if we put him here instead, it means that our team is actually dispersed a little bit more. And we can probably... We can probably deal with that a little bit better. A dile- Oh my god. Oh my god. A dilemma. Hold a song. I- I love it. Oh, I- I- oh. Oh, Love it. Alright, okay. We're gonna put him here. We're gonna fix the food, chat. We're gonna fix the food. Oof. Okay. Alright, the big threes. It's not quite what we need. It's not quite what we need. We need a four. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's... Oh, that's perfect. Pakal, you... Oh, you legend. Oh, you legend. Right. Get rid of that. It's, it's gone. It's gone. Let's just fucking... Let's just kick it out of here. That's, that's gone, though. It's never coming back. Never, ever. Oh, man. 69 cookies gone. Thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Do we have any Spanish people here, by the way? What do you reckon? Do we have any any people from Spain in the chat? If so, this is for you. All right. 
Here we go. We're going to move on. Who knows what's going to happen next. So the team is going to take one point of health damage. That's okay. I've checked your food stores and it looks grim. We lost more than half our supplies with the module. If we don't find some creative solutions, we'll starve before we ever reach Mars. So, we're on the route to potential starvation, which is actually true in our game as well. Um, so in this case, in this case, chat, these are our options. We have one die for all of the crew and minus another health for everyone. Also, why has this just panned out as boys versus girls the entire time? Like, this doesn't always happen. It's only when I'm streaming this happens. Anyway, so... My, plus one dice for all crew, minus one health, or plus two health for them, but minus one dice for the rest of the crew. So, chap, once again, it's in your hands. Left or right, what are we going to go for? What are you feeling? Left? A lot of people feeling left. Yeah, a lot of people feeling left. Hmm. One person feeling right. Two people feeling right. Okay. All right. It feels like left. It feels like left is the way that we want to go. In this weird battle of the sexes that we find ourselves in, we're choosing the girls. Now, chat. Left, baby. Yeah, I'm with you. Now. Now. M Stars, thank you for the follow. You have come at a particularly challenging time. Because now... There was one person on the ship who died. And we have no food. However, content warning, <laughs> we do have a dead person. Now, we have a relatively good amount of dice, but we could improve it more. Now. The decision, chat, is with you. Crunch or nonch. Crunch if we cannibalize. Nonch if we don't. Now, in the chat, what are we going to do? Now, a lot of people, a lot of people saying crunch. A lot of people are saying eat John. <laughs> A lot of people are saying crunch. Ex Labritz Crow, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Unfortunately, this isn't a pay to win system. Now, a lot of people saying crunch. I appreciate the bits all the same, just to let you know. Now, before we continue, my housemate, right, before the stream, prepared me with tea, with coffee, with water, and also a tiny. A tiny bowl of fruit. <laughs> a tiny, a tiny little bowl of fruit, which I am going to eat now. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is glorious. Mm. I will crunch the fruit, uh, the fruit charcoal. Okay. So we have decided to cannibalize. We've decided... It's time for that mm -mm, delicious human barbecue. Oh God, I can't say that without nearly choking on my own spit. Um, so, who are we going to feed, chat? Who do you want to feed? Now, for bearing in mind that for cannibalism, you only give someone plus two dice and it removes one from their maximum health. So, who are we going to feed? Pakal and Nikki. Interesting choice. Feed Nikki. It's feeling like Nikki. Mm. A bit of Pakal. A few the wives. A few people appealing feeling Pakal. Nikki. Pakal. Pakal and Nikki. That's what we're sort of feeling at the moment. Okay. Nikki. Nikki. Definitely Nikki. Okay, alright. So the chat's feeling Nikki. Of uh, the wives eat up. Alright, so we're gonna give Nikki some of that wow. I mean she's kind of into it. Well, she's trying to figure out if she's kind of into it, but she's not entirely sure, but then all of a sudden, the uh, the epiphany strikes. <laughs> I love it! But do I? But I'm not sure, but I love it! 
Um, so, yeah. Hold on. I could. I think I can do this. Perfect. All right. Uh, and then Pakal as well, obviously. So there we go. A little bit of cannibalism. Thank you very much. I like cetaceans for the 100 bits. Nice. Uh, that's very nice. Thank you very much. Um, right, so we are going to finish up there. We're not going to cannibalize anymore. We're going to leave that one bit of delicious... Del <laughs> a delicious human meat. Just, mm, just mm, sitting. Mm, oh, um, nom, nom, nom. Just, just, just sitting. Just sitting there. Mm, on the... On the side. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So, thank you very much, Crunchy Rights, for the 200 bits. Wow, thank you. Let's see what problems we have. Okie dokie. Okay, alright. So, we've got one relatively minor issue and two fairly major issues now. Um, the 21 is a little bit troubling because, of course, two of our crew members are stuck in there. We've got Pakal and Nikki stuck in there. Kayla and John are up here. Because this is a four, chat, because this is a four, I think that, I think that what we're going to do is we're going to have John roll this one. He's got three dice. <laughs> three. And he needs to roll a four. <laughs> that is what needs to happen. Otherwise, everyone takes one point of health damage. <laughs> Everyone. Here we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Good work, John. Good work. Now. Okay, so John did it. Well done, John. However, now we have... Yeah, two... Yeah, I know, two fours. It's actually really good. So now... What we need to do is... Yeah, uh, props to John. Okay, props to John. He did it. Um, Petty Crobin. Welcome to the channel. Are we going to flat re-roll these to try and get 2-5 so we can increase our number of assists and reduce his stress by 20%? I think that we are. we got nothing to lose. John, you didn't... John, you... John, you didn't need to roll... Any more fours? We we had the four, John. John, John, we had the four. <laughs> we did it. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, okay, fine. So we'll put them both down there. Unfortunately, because this needs a five plus and this needs a, a five plus, we can't do anything. So we'll put them both in research and we will move on. Now, we are on our way to being able to use this, the MCC override, um, because that's actually going to be really good. Plus 17 repair to one module. That's pretty sweet. Lady Saltshea, thank you very much for the 100 bits. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. So, these two are going to cause us to uh, take one point of hull damage, which, for the time being, isn't that bad. It's not that critical. However, I think it's time to bust out Commander Nikki. Commander Nikki... We need you. Now more than we ever have, Nikki. With your four dice, we need you to roll 21. And we're going to try and do it in one roll. Here we go. Let's roll them up. Oh, the meat dice. Oh, the meat dice. Oh, oh, Lord. The meat dice are back. <laughs> oh, Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not particularly good. That's not particularly nice. Okay, all right. So we got one six. We have a three that is now in stasis, and potentially, potentially entirely useless. Cool. So we're gonna put the six in here. But what do we do with the three? We have two twos. So do we... Hmm. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. Oh, man. Molietsu, thank you very much for the 420 bits. Blazing it with Commander Nikki. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so... <laughs> you like that? Uh, the, the, full, uh, the full clench. No one clipped that. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel like we flat re-roll it. Because we can't do anything with the three now. Apart from put it in here. Which I'm going to do. So we need to roll 11. So we need to roll at least two fives. Commander Nikki, come on. Come on, chat. We need the belief. We need that hot Commander Nikki belief. Are you guys... Are you guys with me? Are you guys with me, chat? Hot Commander Nikki belief? Yeah? We're feeling it? Definitely. I am, at least. Do it for the cannibals. Yeah! Yeah, says the chat. All right, okay, cool. If you guys are feeling it, I'm feeling it. Here we go. Oh, man. We didn't have enough belief. The belief was uh, was running low. So we only got a three. All right, that's fine. All right, that's fine. So what we can do is we can chuck the two in here, use the MCC override like so. Then we'll chuck the one into research, end the turn. Job done. Now, that means that we have... Mike, you have to trust in the heart of the dice. <laughs> Thank you, Wonder Woman meme. I will next time. I will trust in the heart of the dice. In fact, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. We're going to get a boy, Pakal. We're going to try and resolve this tank fail. He's got four dice. He needs to roll 17. Is that possible? 6, 12, 18. Yeah. Okay. So I did some maths and I've, cal I've run the numbers, chat. I've done my calculations, I've figured it out through an analytical, an entirely analytical process, and now I've determined that he can do it in one dice. Hold on. Hold on. This is, this is my belief face. I believe! Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, to be fair, not a bad roll. I mean, two of our dice are now in stasis. Two of the dice are now in stasis, so we can only get 14 maximum. But that's all right. So we'll put these two in here. This From this, we just take one hole damage. So that's that's manageable at least i think what we'll do is we will put the two in here we'll put the one up here so for that we only need five now and we'll call it quits there now the thing is right commander nikki didn't come through as well as we wanted her to so we've had to use a bit of research to get us through so we're running a little bit low on that now kayla i still believe him like in a major way so, how to best use Kayla for this situation? Do we focus on our assists? Maybe, because we do need assists. We've got a bad one coming next time, though. So, actually, is it more important to try and make sure that our health is full? Oh, man, this is a difficult one. I think that what I'm going to do... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and repair the hull to full. Now, mm, no, am I? Because we could take the one health hit and try and get some actual food. How does stasis work? Does it just mean you can't re-roll them? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it means. Um, essentially, like... With stasis, you can't... Yeah, the dice just becomes absolutely useless. Protect health. Yeah, I know. I know we need to protect. However, like, I think, actually, if we put her in there, we can heal her health by one if everything goes, like, really badly. And we can also give Commander Nikki plus one health. Do you know what? Actually, I'm going to do it. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do it. We're going to take the one hit to health. We're going to roll it up in here and see if we can actually get some food. Okay. So we got two fours. That's really positive. So we get one piece of food. Wow, Kayla, jeez Louise, that was actually a fantastic roll. Now, here's the thing. So 
I'm going to put the five in here so that we heal Nikki and Kayla by one. So that's pretty good. So Nikki's now feeling a little bit more healthy. But do we use the six for research or do we re-roll it and try and get the four? You know what? I think I'm going to risk it. When Anil is in the chat and my dad's talking to me, I refer to Anil as... I refer to it as Anil 2, which isn't relevant to stuff going on in stream right now. I just thought it was a fun fact. That is a fun fact, Shalan. Thank you for letting me know that actually we have multiple Anils around and about. Okay. Anil squared. Hmm. You know what? That makes a lot more sense than what I said. Um, okay. This is highlighted because Anil squared. <laughs> wow. Um, alright, fine. I'm gonna re-roll it. Let's see. Okay, alright. No, a three isn't too bad. That can still go in research. So, all in all, a relatively successful round. We've got the potential to get more dice back next turn. Everyone is, um... Everyone's actually feeling pretty good right now. This is okay. For right now, this is okay. So we take the one hit to hull. A transmission arrived. Not from Earth, but from Mars. From Tharsis. Hmm. An impossible signal from an impossible source. Is this what we're searching for? Is it, though? Who's transmitting this signal? Who is? Was there another mission to Mars? Was there? Was that before ours? Or is the message coming from someone else? Oh my lord, chap. This this plot getting thick. Um, anyway, so, with that aside, um, now we get another choice. Interesting. So, this time, this time we have got plus one food, uh, but minus one dice for these two people. So, it kind of immediately mitigates getting plus one food. Or plus one dice for all of the crew, but minus two health. For them so now you can start to see how the effects of stress are coming in right so because these guys are more stressed like pakal for example is actually very close to being overstressed, which is a very bad position to be in um we're now making worse decisions so hey for everyone reading this remember to hydrate and take your meds if you need to thank you crunchy thank you for looking out for the chat yes remember to stay hydrated and take your meds if you need to I'm going to hydrate right now. <sighs> Lovely. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it to you. I'm going to leave it to you. Left or right, let me know in the chat now. Would you like the plus one food? Would you like the plus one dice? What do you think? Stick it in the chat. Let's see what's up. Okay, instantly a few people are feeling left, but the room is actually relatively split. Oh, man. Taking a sip. Yeah, I'm taking a huge old sip, Oscar. You know it. Okay, alright, so left is kind of coming through now as opposed to right, but more right's coming in last minute. I think... So you're changing your mind and going to left? Okay, alright, so the chat predominantly is feeling left, so... You want to have the plus one food, but the minus one dice. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okie dokie. So now we have two food here. And again, chat, I'm going to throw it to you. With the food, not the cannibalism. No, no. Just, just wait. Also, Oscar, thank you very much for the 36 bits. I greatly appreciate it. Um, this time, I think what we need to do is decide who are we going to feed. So... Let me know in the chat. I can't remember what we said on my stream, but who do you want to feed? Tell me now. Kayla, Nikki. Nikki and Kayla. Nikki, cannibalism is also food. I mean, in, in a way, in a manner of speaking. The wives, one food a week. Kayla and Nikki, Kayla, Nikki, the wives. John, wow, controversial. Hmm. Nikki and Kayla, Nikki and Kayla. All right, okay. I'm getting it through loud and clear. Kayla and Nikki. There we go. Now chat. Now chat. Now we need to choose if we crunch or if we nonch. Chat, what do you think? Do we crunch or do we nonch? Let me know. 
Nonch. Oh, wow. Instantly the Nonch. Interesting. Okay. Nonch. Nonch is actually taking over. Oh, wow. There's a cannibalism, Shalan says. Just, just straight off the bat. Nonch. Nonch. Okay. All right. Nonch. Nonch. We don't, we don't cannibalize this time around, chat. This time we're going to be good. We're going to be good boys. We're going to, we're just going to finish up. Okie dokie. Now, this is serious, chat. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, chat. Shit just got real. <laughs> so this time around, we have a 22. We have a 22. And next time, we have two reds and an amber. Like, this is where this is where it gets real, chat. This is where it gets real. So. We've got John, who has two dice. And a system fail over here. Now, system fail is unlike most other things. So system fail literally just means you can't use the special ability of that compartment. So with this one, what that means is we can't actually repair the ship. We can't repair the hull. Which is pretty bad, given what's coming next time. I'm proud of us taking the, less, the bloodthirsty option. Yeah, I'm proud of you too, Sixter. So, what are we going to do? Hmm. Well, to be honest, the obvious choice for me is getting John... No. Yeah, is getting John here to repair the tank fail, and I'll explain why. So we've got Kayla and Nikki, like the dream team, already. They're teed up and set to go. Like they're already like laying out their tools. They know exactly what needs to be done. They they have got that section on lock. Like they are so prepared for that. They've got maximum dice. They've got near maximum health. Nikki's a little bit stressed, but that's fine. She works well under stress. And then we have John. <laughs> and then we have John, who has two dice and needs to either roll a five or a seven. Now, if we complete this five, we actually free up Pakal, which means that we can move Pakal around and we can put him wherever he needs to go, which means that if Kayla and Nikki manage to resolve this 22, Pakal can then go and resolve this seven without taking any uh, any damage. If um, Kayla and Nikki don't finish the 22, then it means that he can go in there. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to hashtag free Pakal. John. Now, John. Johnny. Do you mind if I call you Johnny? Johnny, where are you? Now, Johnny. I know that we've had our ups and downs, Johnny boy, but... I feel in I feel you. Like I get it. This is not an easy situation to be a part of, John. And I get that. However, I'm going to believe in you this one time. This is the time though, John. That after this, after this I'm not sure. I'm not sure where we're going to go. But I believe in you and I trust you, John. We need you to come through now. This is it. The do or die moment, John. Possibly in some ways literally. Go do us proud. Okay. There we go. Was that a good pep talk, chat? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if that was a good pep talk, pep talk or whatever, but... I feel like... I feel like that's the best we're gonna get. After this, we might eat you, so no pressure. Thank you very much, Moose is a cool. <laughs> Alright, chat. We've gotta believe in the heart of the dice. I know a lot of you are teeing up the Fs, chat. I know that you are. But this is it. Here. We. Go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, John! You absolute fucking legend! Yes! Yes, John! Oh my lord! Oh wow, the, the pep talk! The pep talk works. Boom! Oh, yes, John. Oh, yes, you absolute beauty. Thank you very much, 69 Cookies Gone, for the 69 bits. Nice. Oh, oh, boy, Raleigh. Thank you very much for the 150 bits. Oh, my lord. I'm sure that Johnny Boy, 
Johnny Boy is going to be appreciating all of this love. Malietsu, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my good. That was so... That was clutch, chap. That was clutch. And you know what now this means? Now we can actually use this section special ability. So if we put a dice in here, we get two dice back. So now, for next time, Johnny Boy... Johnny Boy is going to have three dice to go into the next round with. This is amazing. Wow. Wow. Oh. This is so... This is so good. Right. We're finishing the deployment there. We're finishing the deployment there. I don't know. I don't know how we did that. Genuinely, I don't. Ah. Oh, we worship King John. The heart... Wonder Woman meme, you are totally right. Oscar, thank you very much for the 18 bits. Greatly appreciated. Okay. Now then. Now then. We have to think about this a little bit carefully. Tafiera, thank you very much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Um, so who are we going to send in first? Because these are this is the dream team, right? These are the golden girls. These are our girls. These are the people who we believe in the most. Who do we send in first? Now, do we send in Kayla? Oh lord, she coming. Oh lord, she coming, chap. Do we send in Kayla or Nikki first? I... I don't know. Now, Nikki's our MVP. I think... Nikki's the... She's gonna come in with the Hail Mary. So yeah, I'm with you, chat. I think we send in Kayla first. I think this is how it's gonna go down. Yeah. Alright. We've got full dice. We've got five dice and we need a 22. Here we go. Ooh. my god! Oh my god, what? That's incredible! <laughs> wow! 69 cookies gone. Thank you very much for the 69 bits. What? What a roll! What, what a roll! Oh my goodness! What the Kayla! I don't know who you are or where you've come from, but my lord, you are on fire! Oh, Kayla, you absolute beauty. Oh, oh my good chat. Wow, what a time. See, this, this is what I love about this game. It comes in with the peril, then boom, you don't know what's going to happen right out of the left field at 23. Oh boy, do you know what? I would esports commentate this if other people are playing it. I love this game so much. Okay, so now we need to be a little bit careful about our deployment because obviously next time is the big bad and we need to make sure that people are well enough equipped. Pakal is seriously stressed out and that concerns me. Nikki is doing relatively fine but is also seriously stressed out. So do we tackle the seven? Because right now, Miss Sunflower94, uh, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. So do we tackle the seven? I don't know. Do we prepare ourselves for the worst? Possibly. I mean, we could, we could heal the hole. We could heal the hole. We could focus on getting assists. Yes, clear up the ship. Maybe. Get the seven. I mean, possibly. Get them in shape. Yeah, mm, it's a tough one. I think what I'm going to do... Here's what I'm going to do. I think I've got it. I'm going to put Pakal in here. And I'm hoping that he's going to roll a three and a five. It's the blood dice. Okay, all right, not quite. But with the three... We can give him two dice back. So that means going into the next round, he's nearly at full dice. We've got one re-roll. 
it needs to be it needs to be a five. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, all right. I don't know how or why, but our luck has slightly turned now, chat. Our luck has slightly turned. So we've healed the hole by one, which means that we're over the halfway. We're over halfway now, which is really, really good. Whew. Oh my goodness, this is so tense. I can't take it. Paul of Serenity, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. With the two, we can't really do very much. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the override to give us two assists. I'm going to put the two down into research. And now, if we get six in research, we can disaster reduce by reducing a thing by 28. Whew. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. This is a good position to be in. For right now, this is a good position. Now, with Nikki, this this makes things a little bit more difficult because previously with Nikki, I was going to suggest to go and take on that seven, but now I'm actually starting to think that maybe we should get food ready for further down the line. Oh, but it's difficult. I don't know. I don't know. Do we get food or do we reduce stress? Hmm. Health for Nikki. I mean, it's a good point, Ray. Um, it's a good point, Ray. But she is only two points off of um, off of top. A lot of people are saying stress, and I think I think I agree with you. Thank you for the stream. I had a great time. Best of luck. Oh, thank you very much, Candle Lantern. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. It's been really great having you around. Okay. All right. Self-care, we go for the reduced stress. There's the five. So now what have we got? We've got a one, we've got a four. Okay, so what we need now is a five and a six to finish the set. If we get a five... Chat, now. Chat. If we get a five and a six, that is going to stand us in such good shape for the next round. Like, a 5 and a 6 would be absolutely ideal right now. Can we... Can Commander Nikki, the MVP of the stream, can she do it? Oh, man. Oh, oh my God. The butted dice, and it just threw it all off. Wow. Okay, all right. Mm. Do you know what? Not too big a deal. Not too big a deal. It's not the best. Not too big a deal. So we go in with a four, which gives us no movement damage at worst case scenario. So we're going to leave. So the system fail doesn't actually do anything. That Here we go. Suit. It's designed for the Ekchomi. Wait, what? Nobody has them but us. Are you... So who are they? Who are they? And where did they get them? Um, what? What? Surely not. Anyway, so with that in mind, um, we've got plus one food on the left, minus one health for us, uh, and we've got 50% less stress for these guys, but minus two to the hull. Now, this is a tricky one, chat. This is a tricky one. So, I'm leaving it to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Suspiciously Gay. Are we going to go left or are we going to go right? Stick it in the chat now. What are we saying? A lot of people are feeling right. Okay, interesting. A few people are feeling left, but the majority, the majority are definitely saying right. Yeah, the majority are saying right. Okay, all right, fine. So, 50% stress reduction, but minus two to hull. Will it screw us over in the long run? It's hard to tell. But we're going for it. There we go. So their stress is now next to nothing, which means that next time we'll be able to make much better decisions. Now. Crunch. Or nonch. Chat. It's up to you. Do we crunch? Do we nonch? 
Let me know. Nonch. Lot of people saying nonch. Pretty much the majority are saying, yeah, now the, the majority are now saying nonch. Okay, alright. So we nonch. We're not cannibalizing today. Not today, chat. Because today is not the day for cannibalization. Ugh. Duh. 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 There we go. There's the finish button. Now then. Now then. This. This is a difficult situation. Chat. I'm not gonna lie. This is bad now. The red screen that you can see surrounding me, this red halo, means that if we don't resolve the issues to the hull, we die. And that's it. That's the end of the game. So, we have to try and resolve that first. Now, we do have Commander Nikki waiting in the wings, right here, ready to step in. The difficulty, though, is that if we roll a 3, a 4, or a 5 on this one, we take one hit point for each one that we roll. Now, purple is one that we haven't seen before. I can see you guys chatting about it in the chat down here. So purple is void. With purple, it basically means if you roll that number, your dice is gone. You don't get to spend it anymore. It just goes into the ether. So that's a tricky one. That's a very tricky one. Void is the worst, I agree. Hmm. So what we're going to have to try and do, chat, is we need to we need to resolve this. And I feel like Pakal is going to have to step up here. Pakal, we need you now. <laughs> oh boy, do we. Because even if we use his special ability and repair the hull by one, we're still going to die. So that's why I'm going to send Pakal in first. Paul of Serenity, thank you very much for the 777 bits. Man, thank you so much. Oh my lord. The pep talk. All right. Just get me. Let me get... Let me... Pakal. Mate, buddy, amigo, friendo, compadre. The headphones are coming off. We've been friends for years. You know this, I know this. We've gone through some difficult times together, Pakal. And you know what you have to do. Now, now we need you. We need your abilities, your skill, your courage, your charisma. Pakal. Por favor, help us. This is our time of greatest need. There we go. Hannah says eat Pakal. Perfect. Okay. I hope that was a good enough... Um, I hope that was a good enough pep talk, chat. We're going to roll it up. This is a... This is a really dangerous roll, though. Because Pakal only has four health and four dice. And we need to roll sixes, basically, to be safe. Here we go. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, there are... <laughs> there are... There are ups and downs to that. The, the ups are that we didn't take any damage. <laughs> the downs are that that's the worst roll that we've had in the game so far. In fact, no, it's not the worst because actually it's still seven. Yeah, the downs are everything else. So, do we just flat re-roll the whole lot? I think we do. I think we do. I think we just flat re-roll the entire thing. Okay. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so we used two of our assists and we've rolled a 12. Okay, that's not that's not too bad, chap. That's not too bad. So I'm going to chuck the five straight in here. Now, do you know what? Every little help. So I'm just going to chuck everything in there. Screw it. I think we just need to make we just need to make this gone. Like this needs to go. Now, here's the thing. Also in there is John. Now, Commander Nikki, I would really like to get up here on that 22. And John, this, well, this needs to be resolved so Nikki can move up here. Because that minus two health for all, that is, that is difficult. So we're going to send John in. Now, Johnny boy... I know that we've had a patchy history here, Jono, but you need to roll us a six. <laughs> you need, you need to roll us a six, please. Please, John. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. The six is going straight in. John has actually come to the rescue here in a major way. A major way. That is the look of sheer determination. John, oh my goodness, what props. Be I take it all back, John. I take it all back. You've been good to us, John. You've been good. Oh my lord. Right. Okay. Yes, he's now no longer the, the least useful crew member. So now, now that that's resolved, I'm going to flat re-roll these two. Oh my... Oh, John. Oh, John, you absolute champion. I don't know how John has come from being literally the worst to actually the best. But John... Oh my goodness, what a victory! What a victory, chat! Wow! Oh my god, what a time! 69 cookies gone, thank you very much for the 69 bits. I cannot believe this! Paul of Serenity, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Wow! John, wow! Oh my goodness, you absolute legend! Okay. Okay, chat. That actually makes things so much easier. Now, you know what time it is, chat. It's time for Commander Nikki. Miss Sunflower94, thank you very much for the 100 bits. <clears throat> it's time for the epic voice, chat. It's time for Commander Nikki. So, we're gonna send her in. The MVP. The one that we all know and love for the big roll em up. Here we go. I agree, Des. Um, wow. Wow. So, chat, for those of you who don't know what that means, Nikki is now dead. That's it. She's gone. She's done. I had to... I hope you don't mind. I had to consult 
with Des um, to see what the general consensus was. And uh, Des is just as concerned as me. Yeah, Nikki, Nikki is now gone. So we're going to try and disaster reduce, which we've done post-mortem. Um, rip. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I genuinely was not expecting that. So instantly things have taken a turn for the worst. Because now we have to complete this entire game with three crew members. Mike, can you eat her now? <laughs> oh, wow! She's only just died! So, yes. Yes, we can now eat her. Which is, um... Which is something. I didn't realize that the chat was gonna be so cannibalistic today. Alright, so... Kayla needs to resolve this 12. Let's focus that. Let's focus up now, chat. Let's focus up. Let's get this 12 done. Okay. So we got one dice in... Uh, one of our die is in the void, which gives us a grand total of 11. I mean, that's not the worst, but it's not the best. So I'm gonna put... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna put the three in here. And then potentially... Mike, when is chat not bloodthirsty? I mean, Doily Spider, you do make a very good point. I'm going to re-roll the three and see if we can get another five or something. Oh, man. This is... This is how your luck just turns in this game, chat. Genuinely, this, this is how it happens. So. We've got it back to one. However... It's not resolved, meaning that we're going to take one point of hull damage, taking us down to two. Are we going to survive this? The more I see this video, the more it scares the shit out of me. Who are they? What's going on here? What, what have we gotten ourselves into? What have we gotten ourselves into, chat? Um, so... You'll notice now that uh, Commander Nikki is in fact gone, uh, which is incredibly unfortunate because uh, that's put us in, that has put us in the worst possible position that we could be in. Um, so, what do we do, chat? The decision is up to you. Plus one hull and plus 20% stress for these two, or plus one food and plus 30% stress for Kayla. Put your decisions in the chat now. Which way would you like to go, left or right? What are we thinking? We're feeling left. A lot of people feeling left, in fact. Oh, man. Yeah, to be fair. Left, everyone. Yeah, pretty much everyone is saying left. Okay, all right. So we're going left. We're going to repair the hole by one. We've taken the um, we've taken the hit to stress. But frankly, I think we need to reprioritize a bit now. Now, because Nikki died, as you have already pointed out, chat... We now have the opportunity to, um, well, eat her. So, I don't really know what you want to do. Are we going to crunch? Or do we nonch? The choice is up to you. Stick it in the chat. Let me know what you're feeling. Okay. A few people, a fair few people. Lots of people saying crunch now. Lots of people saying crunch. Okay, overwhelmingly, we're going to crunch. Jeez Louise. We crunch. All right, okay. Well, if you guys are feeling crunch, then who are we going to feed? Let me know. What do you think? It's definitely crunch approved, right? We've got that crunch stamp right on there. We're just going to shove it right in there. And everyone is saying John. Johnny boy. Feed John. Feed our John, they say. Jono? There we are. Just John? Just feeling John for now? A little bit of crunch for John? A little nom for John? Yeah, we feeling that? Like, yeah. John, surprise MVP. I mean, yeah, who would have seen it going that way? Like, genuinely, I didn't realize that there was going to be the big turnaround. So we've got John, who is now... Well, he didn't like that at all. <laughs> that is probably the, uh, the most realistic reaction I have had in this game to someone actually eating another human. <laughs> Um, yeah, John John does not look happy. So it doesn't look like we're going to feed anyone else. 
So we'll finish up there and continue. Okay. Now then. Now then. So we've got a big old 32 right up the front here. We've obviously got the 1 here that we need to resolve and the 9. So next time we've got two amber warnings. So what do we do? I think at this stage we probably I think at this stage we probably just have to resolve them as they come. So I think what I'd like to do is get I think we need to get John to the front. Now John in the big turnaround is our surprise MVP. I want to get John to the front. But to get there we have two hazards, so we we can't do it as of right now. I think we can easily resolve both of these. And I feel like that's what we need to do. So let's get Kayla in on this one to start with. We just need a one. Okay. All right, that's fine. That's fine. So we'll put the three in here. That resolves that issue straight away. And we'll re-roll these and see what we get. Okay, I was hoping for doubles there, but unfortunately not. So we have a six and a two. What have we got down here? So we've got no movement damage, plus three to hull. So because her health is actually in pretty good shape, and because we didn't roll doubles and we can't get food, I think we should probably focus on actually getting our um, our researches, our research up. Six is a really valuable. It's not often that you get them in a situation like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the six and the two straight into research, and we'll start there. Be worse if he didn't react poorly. He was happy about it. Oof, yeah, I know, Captain Carroll. But, I mean, some people are. You should see Pakal. He bloody loves it. Um... So that's Kayla's round. All right, okay, so that's fairly good. We're now out of the danger zone, at least. Pakal's up next, and we need to roll a big old nine. So let's roll that up. These blood dice, man. Okay. Now that is, that's a nine on three dice. Ideally, ideally I would have been, it would have been nice to have it on two. Oh, God, this... Oh, this makes it difficult now, because... We could heal the hull by one and mitigate the damage. Or we could heal by nine. Or we could heal the hull by one and flat re-roll the two threes and hope... No, but we need to get John out of this, and if we don't heal it, then that's a big risk. This is hard. This is hard. Okay. I think... Yeah, I think we're going to put the five up here and re-roll the two threes. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay, here's what we're going to have to do, right? We'll put the five up here to resolve the issue, and then we'll put the three in here to give Pakal more dice ready for the next time. I think, realistically, that's the best that we can do in this situation, is just equip our guys ready for next time. Because next time is going to be the big one. Like, next time is going to be basically our big push ready to try and get home. So John is going to have to come to the front here and seriously... I mean, we need to roll a blinder at this stage to be able to resolve this. Like, we need to roll a blinder of a roll. Right, chat? We need the belief. We need the belief, chat. Because this is going to be it. I, I have a feeling that this is the do or die roll. Like, before now, I was kind of semi-joking, but now... I know you can't roll a 32 with five dice, but... Seriously, though, we have to roll high. Because if we don't roll high, I think that's it. Here we go. Okay. 
That's 13. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the five up top. Oh, the threes are always a difficult call, though. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to flat re-roll it. Okay, that's better, but still not the best. So we got another five, which takes it to 22. That takes it to 19. Now, do we use these? Oh, man, do we use these in research, though? Because then we have the option of getting plus three to hull. What's the best use of our dice? I feel like, actually, research is the way to go. So I'm going to chuck these two into research. Now, it's a bit of a risky strat because it basically means that... It basically means that we're putting our, our fate into the hands of two dice. <laughs> but I think that's the best that we can do. So we take the whole damage. Sisfail does nothing. Here we go. Those people. Are they us? What's happening to them? But... Are we seeing ourselves? But that's insane. What's happening to us? What is happening? Anyway, so now we've got a new choice. We've got to either... We either get plus one hull and minus one health for all of the crew, which puts John very much into the danger zone. Or we get... Or Kayla gets plus three. Or Kayla gets plus three dice. And everyone... <laughs> and everyone... Everyone loses... Wow. Okay. All right. Chat. It's left or right. You guys know what to do. Stick it in the chat window now. What would you guys like to see? Going with the boys. Feeling left. Almost unanimously left. Okay. All right. Left it is then. We're going to have to go with the plus one hull. And everyone takes a point of damage. Now, this is dangerous, chat. This is dangerous. So... Now, because everyone has cannibalized at least once, I think, apart from Kayla, we now get plus three dice from cannibalization. So do we crunch or do we nunch? And who give who do we give it to? So a lot of people are saying crunch and Kayla. A lot of people feeling crunch, and a lot of people feeling Kayla. Kayla crunch, Kayla crunch. Yeah, okay. All right, chat. Okay, I get you. I get you, chat. I do. Kayla. Kayla has little bit crunch for snack. And everyone else is going to stay as they are. I, I think I agree with you this time, chat. I think I do. Right. Let's see what awaits us. Okay. All right. So. So we've got two system failures. A 16, a 13, and a 19. But the benefit at this point is that everyone is on quite good... Is on a quite good level of dice. So... I think that... Okay, what's the play? What's the play? So I think the play here is... Because next time, we've got two ambers and a red. Jeez Louise, this is getting difficult. So I think we put Pakal in here to try and resolve the 13. Try and resolve the 13. Okay, so that's 18. That's good. So 6 plus 5 is 11. No, 6 plus 4 is... Yeah. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 3, and then we have a 5. Wow, actually, no, I've just... That's the best roll of the game. Because we can put this, this, 
and this in here, and then heal the hole by one. Pack, pack out! What a roll! What a roll! No, no, not the five in research, because that now puts us straight into safety. Wow! What a roll! See, this... This is the reason why I love having Pakal on the team. Because genuinely, he can get you out of so many bad situations. I mean, jeez. 69 cookies gone. Thank you very much for the 69 bits. Wow. What a roll. Okay. This is a chat. This is a roller coaster. Like, oh my lord. Right, okay. So, at this stage... We should probably try and resolve that 19. And I think that John is the person to do it. Genuinely, I do. John, this is attempt two. Attempt two at the 13. In fact, next time is really bad. Yeah, it has to be the third. It has to be this 19. Sorry, it has to be the 19. Sorry, not 13, 19. It has to be. Four dice, 19 to get. Here we go. Okay, that's 14. So, I'm feeling five and four, and two. No, wait. Yeah, and two. Now, we can't complete it, but... But... If we roll a 4 or a 5... That would put us to immediate safety. I mean... I mean, that was probably the worst possible time to roll a 6. <laughs> of all of the times, John... Look, Jono, I know you're trying, mate. I know that- I can see that you are. But that's not quite what we needed. Okay, alright. We'll put the six in. It brings it down to two. Like, it's okay. It's alright. But that now makes things much more difficult. This system failure here is blocking this, which is a problem. So, do we get Kayla over here to resolve the system failure? It's important to me that everyone knows my grandpa walked into the kitchen and is really, uh, as the really good roll happened, and asked if Mike was yelling about the bread I was taking out of the oven. <laughs> Oh my lord, your local- oh my god. Your local gore. Uh, thanks for sharing that, man. Uh, that's- that's beautiful. Can you please tell your- your grandpa that no, that isn't what I was doing. Much love to you and your family, by the way. Um, that's very sweet, and I appreciate it a lot. But no, I was yelling because I got far too excited. Okay. Kayla. Do we resolve the steering fail? Probably not, because that that will mean that she's stuck there and John can quite easily resolve it next time. So do we resolve the system fail or do we take the one hit to health and put her up at the 16 and try and resolve that? Okay. Okay. I feel like maybe. I feel like maybe, chat, because she can heal her health by one. And the 16 is a problem. So. Let's go for it. Here we go. Okay. 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 
Rolling the four was not good. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the four into research. I'm going to put the five... God, this is hard. Do we heal her with the five? Yeah. I feel like we do. But then if we roll two fours, she's she's donezo. Good luck, Kayla. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, what a roll. Oh. Man, I cannot, I cannot take the stress. <laughs> I cannot take the stress. Okay, all right. So they both go in there. That brings it down to a five. We're going to save the repair arm for now. We have enough to use it. We're going to save it for now because I want to see what happens next time. Okay? I know that a lot of you are saying use the repair arm. But I'm going to save it just for now, just to see what happens. So we take two damage to the hull. The system failures don't do anything. None of this makes any sense. It keeps changing. Is this real? Is this something that's happening now or something that's going to happen? Can we stop it? And if so, how? So, anyway, um, now we have a new choice. We have a new choice to make, chat. Left or right. Left gives us plus one food, but minus two dice. Right gives minus 20% stress to everyone, but minus one hull. Now, this... This is difficult. The hull is up here. If you don't know, that's our hull. Left or right, stick it in the chat. What are we saying? Wow, the room is so divided. Yeah, this is why stress is bad. This is what happens if you don't maintain your stress. What the not cho What's the not chosen thing on the left? So, the not chosen... Just to explain this, sorry, you're absolutely right. I realise I didn't explain this. If we don't choose this, everyone gains plus 10... Sorry, these two people gain plus 10% stress. So that actually only mitigates 10% stress for these guys. So it's looking like everyone is saying... I think the majority are saying left. Now, the room is super split. Like, super split. But the majority... The majority seem to be saying left. So I'm sorry, I recognize, I realize all of you guys who said right, I recognize it. Now. Now. Chat. We have one food. You can do actual polls in chat too, I know, I know. But I like doing it this way, it's good fun. Um, so. Do we eat, I'm assuming yes. Who do we give the food to? Feed John. Interesting. Okay. Feed John. Food for John. Pacal. John. Okay. We're not doing crunch or nonch yet. We're just doing food. Regular food. So food for John. Everyone's saying food for John. Right. John gets the regular food. John is back to being somewhat determined. Now, crunch or nonch, I'm assuming that we want to crunch, chat. I'm I'm guessing <laughs> that that is probably what we want to do. So, um, yes, crunch for Pacal, people are saying. Crunch for Pacal. Crunch, crunch, food for John. Crunch for Pacal. So basically, we're turning Pacal into the biggest cannibal on the team. Okay, all right, fine. See, look, Pacal, when you feed Pacal, this face... He's so into it. Like, it's worrying how into it Pacal is. <laughs> it's worrying. It's worrying. So, all right. Okay. Now, 
This, he's now unbelievably stressed because every time you give people the cannibalism food, they get more and more stressed. So his stress level is now extreme and you're going to see what the ramifications of that are next time. Here we go, chat. What's going to happen? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Chat, I have to confess, I don't think there's any way we can do this. <laughs> we can't heal that much. So I think that's it for this run. However... With that in mind, we're still going to try and go out in a blaze of glory. Pakal's up first. Our latest cannibalism discovery. Let's see if he can get the 13. We got an assist in here, and he comes in with exactly 13. Boom. One thing resolved. Next, John. Right up front with the two. Here we go. Big rolls now, John. Big rolls. Nice. <laughs> so we've got a three right here. We've got the plus three to hull. And we're going to reduce his stress. And we're going to give people no, no movement damage. Oh, no, we can't because it needs to be above five. Oh, I didn't see that dice up there. Oh, shit. Right, okay, that's fine. Three and one. Boom. Speed runs. Kayla, can you pull us through? Kayla, absolutely you can. More than a five, totally. So we've got our health back up as well. We're going to re-roll the one and the three because we don't need to. Um, we don't need anything else. So we have a six and a four, which if we give that to research, then we can actually get plus one food. So I'm going to put the four in there, use the plus one food, chuck the six in here to increase our assist to full. Boom! Chat. I think. I dare say. I dare say, chat. In what was a monumental turn of events. We've turned it round. How did that work out? I don't know. <laughs> but we have somehow turned it round. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. The big comeback. I know. We made it. After all we've been through, there's no turning back. It's a suicide mission. And then again. But then again. Maybe it always Maybe was. It always was. Chat, this is the big one now, okay? I'm not gonna lie, this is it. If we get through this last round, we win the game. Now, the ship is not in a good way at all. Like, there's, there's no way that we can spin it. The ship is in a bad way. However, if we resolve these two and we don't get any more ship damage we can do this now then now then on the left we get plus one hull but it will kill john on the right we get plus one food but it will kill pakal the choice is yours. Left or right? I know. I know, chat. It's gonna be difficult. Few people are saying kill John. A lot of people are feeling the left here. A lot of people are feeling the left. John was the MVP, but now the chat has turned. 
We've made our decision. John. You were a good crew member. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Unfortunately, this is just how Twitch chat works. And you, I can't predict... Look, I'm sorry, John. It's just one of those things. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how any of this works. Your noble sacrifice shall not be forgotten, John. Because this will be recorded. And it will be put on YouTube. Goodbye, John. Can we get some Fs up in here, please? F for John. It's there. Here we go. Like someone said, nothing says MVP like dying for your team. Wonder Wameme, thank you for the one bit. Raleigh, thank you for the 175 bits. Now, with this latest round of cannibalism, we now get plus four dice if we if we crunch. Now, what I'm going to say, chat, is because we've got all of this stuff, it makes sense to give the food to someone. So, I don't know if we can get through this now. All I know is we can just try and make the best of it. Thank you very much, Oscar, for the 36 bits. Thank you, 69 cookies gone for the 69 bits. Nice. And thank you, Lady Saltshade, for the 100 bits. Right. So we're going to give food... What are we saying, chat? We're going to give food to Kayla. Everyone's saying food for Kayla. By the way, we got an incoming hype train, chat. Jump on it. Let's see what we can do. Let's make this the best one yet. Here we go. We're going to give the food to Pakal, as the chat is saying. We're going to probably give this to Kayla so that we're both on maximum stress. Hey, it's Sam D. Thanks for the 100 bits. I like cetaceans. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Oscar, thank you for the 36 bits. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, unfortunately, chat, it's not going to be a winning round. However, we can do the best that we can possibly do. Let us commence. Pakal. Pakal. We need you here. If we can repair the hull by maximum... Nah, even if we do... We don't have any research, so we can't get no movement damage. I'm trying to figure this out, chat. I'm trying to figure it out for you. What's the best that we can do? We could repair two with Pakal, but then Kayla is still stuck. No, I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a winning round, chat. Not this time. I don't think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be a winning round. Not this time. Man, thank you everyone, by the way, for the bits and for the gift subs. I am seeing it all. Paula Serenity, the five gift subs. Non-binary star system, the tier one sub. Tafiera, thank you for the five community subs. And then from the bottom of the list, Lady Saltshea, thank you for the 100 bits. I like cetaceans, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, it's Sam D, thank you for the 100 bits. Oscar, thank you very much for the 36 bits. Miss Sunflower, 94, thank you very much for the 200 bits. Charcoal, thank you very much for the 31 bits. Wonder Woman, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Hey, it's Sam D. Thank you very much for the 400 bits. Pirate GF, thank you very much for the 50 bits. 69 Cookies Gone, thank you very much for the 420 bits. Blaze it! Malevolent Mango, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Hey, it's Sam D. Thank you very much for the 10 Tier 1 Community Gift Subs and Jory. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Excellent Brits Crow, thank you very much for the Tier 1 Subs. All five of them. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This hype train. Level 5 at 259%. Wow. Wow. We are absolutely nailing this. Okay. We're very hyped for John. We're hyped for John. Thank you so much, everyone. This is amazing. I'm trying to figure this puzzle out. Come on, Pakal. It's not going to happen, mate. Not this time, but you know what? You were an absolute champion. Always and forever, Pakal. Always and forever. 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Boom. 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 Plus one to hull. Okay, what can we do? We can put this in research. And now, finally, Kayla Jones. She can't get to the flight control. We can't repair the ship enough. All we can do at this point is go out in a blaze of glory. Come on, Kayla. She takes a hit. Five and four. Straight up here. We got three ones. Can we get seven? It's not good. And Kayla's out. And chat, that's it. That is Tharsis. As we fade off into the blackness of space, there's nothing more. There's nothing more. And that's it, everyone. That is Tharsis. Oh my goodness. So we managed to survive all the way to the end. You get a final score at the end, which is determined by all of these factors here, including the difficulty that you chose to do it on. Wow. Oh my goodness. By the way, I've just seen that we're at 306% on the hype train. Thank you so much to all of you who have donated subs, to all of you who have subbed to our channel. I mean, welcome. Uh, and also thanks to everyone who has donated bits uh, as well. Uh, Malevolent Mango, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, it's Sam D. Uh, thank you for the gift subs. Jory, thanks for the 100 bits. Excellent Brits, Crow, thank you very much for the five tier one community gift subs. Book of Mac, welcome back for the two month uh, gift sub. Uh, sorry, the two month sub. Welcome back to the channel. It's always good to have you here. Hey, it's Sam D. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Miss Zilla M, thank you very much for the 420 bits. Oscar Blyde, uh, Bild, sorry, three, thank you very much for the 18 bits. Raleigh, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Aaliyah Thinks, thank you very much for the 160 bits. And 69 Cookies Gone, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. So we're going to finish it up there. That's the first run through. Now, chat, I'm going to go and take a quick break because I could use myself uh, a little comfort break. Honey, 1720. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go top up my water, maybe grab another cup of tea. I'd suggest you guys go and do the same. And when we get back, I'm going to maybe have another run through, maybe do some missions. Have a think about it. There are some interesting missions we can do here where we have to survive some very specific circumstances. Um, I haven't completed them all, so I don't know what to expect. Or we can do another straight run through. Have a think about it while I'm gone. I will come back. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with our boy Dez. And I will see you guys very shortly. See you in five. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I've been playing around with some new hotkeys. Um... And for some reason, that, uh, that, look, I can, I can mute my microphone just by pressing a button. Great, look. And I'm back. Um, so yeah, that's always fun. Um, yes, I'm back. Hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you're enjoying Tharsis so far. Um, also, Dez obviously is here as well, Big Derek, and, uh, and his new friends who he's found. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I have now... By the way, this talk of almond tarts, I love an almond tart, by the way. Don't, I mean, that out of context sounds a bit weird. But anyway, I love an almond tart. Um, today, I've got a new choice of chocolate, everyone. I have got dye bars, <laughs> um, which are famously from Okia. Um... I really like these, actually. These are one of my... I love these. They're not one of my favourites, necessarily. Well, they're up there. It's hard to tell. I'm a big chocolate fan, uh, but I do love me a dye bar, and I love myself a bit of uh, Okia as well. Um, so I'm going to have some of this. You've got milk. You've actually got milk by Adbury. Really? 
with um with almonds in. Wow. Mmm. Sounds delicious. You got some dye bars as well, Niblick. Well, welcome to the party. Right. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to cut back in to the world of Tharsis. Um, how did you guys find that first run through? I thought it was pretty good. Um, I know that we can do better. I know that we can do better. But at the same time, I think that, um... Oh, bye, Drop. Thank you very much for stopping by and for modding with us today. Um, I think we can do a little more. So, let's try... Let's try and do some missions. Now, I haven't tried these before. So basically, the missions are different to the main game. They give you a specific circumstance that you have to try and resolve. And it's your job to try and resolve it. So. No. Anil no At Zalia. Z Zal are you here, Z? Are you seeing this? Zalia. Tell me. You're still here, right? Is Z here? Maybe. Anil? You have been warned. None of this. None of this modding, and he'll know. It's not happening today. Thank you. Thank you, Z, for the bap. Yes. You tell him no. You tell him no. Alright. Here we go, then. So let's try a mission. So we're going to try Trial by Fire. These are the training missions. So these, if you're new to the game, these will teach you how to do them. But let's try Trial by Fire. We've got a total of ten. Each one has a... Oh. Oh. Chat. Chat. It happen. It happen again. This. The eternal issue. The Batara. She leave. Right. I've got to go and change the battery in my camera. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, chat. Just give me two minutes. I'm just going to stick a new battery in my in my camera. See you in a sec. Right. Sorry about that, chat. I'm back again. Um, <laughs> I've resolved my camera battery issues, and I'm back in the hot seat. Okay, so this time, this time, let us do this. No, Anil. No. You should not be working. Um. Right. Okay. Here we go, then. So we're going to give Trial by Fire a go. Like I was saying, there are different kinds of mode that you can play. So there's Strategy, Endurance, Challenge, which I've never seen before, and Catastrophe. So I'm assuming that a Catastrophe is pretty bad. So we're going to see. An unchecked gas leak has finally ignited, resulting in a spreading fire. Are you up to the challenge? Survive three weeks. Okay, so basically we have to survive three rounds. Let's give it a go. Let's try. Let's try. Um, okay, all right, wow. Um, that's a, that is a lot of fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. All right. Well, I can see why this is a catastrophe now. Um, so, <laughs> wow. So, okay. So, Yuri. We've got Yuri, Pakal, and Jean. We've got full hull. And we've got fire literally everywhere. What have we got down here? Seven repair. Three repair. 28 repair. Okay. So Yuri's ability, if you remember from the beginning, is that he can travel anywhere and doesn't take movement damage. Pakal can repair the hull, and Jean can give plus one die to everyone in the same thing as him. So, let us start with Pakal. I think. At this stage, it doesn't matter too much, I don't think. <clears throat> because we haven't taken any damage to the hull, so... Uh, yeah, let's start with Pakal. 
So we're going to roll it up and see how well we get on. We've got to resolve a 19 and we take an injury on a 2. Okay. All right. That was a really, really strong roll. Okay. So we got 6, 12, 18, 19. So 6, 12, 18, 19. Plus a 2, which will re-roll. Okay, so we got a 5. So we'll put this 5 down in research, I think, because we need a little bit of research. It'll give us plus 3 repair at the moment, which is pretty damn good. Alright. Okay. Next person. <sighs> Jeez. Um, so now Jean is free to move to any of these areas. However, I'm assuming... That because this is a gas leak, what that means is the fires might reignite. I'm guessing. I'm just guessing. They might reignite in the next wave. So, we want to keep everyone relatively close. So, we'll get Jean to go here and put out this fire. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, exactly 19. Jeez Louise. Oh, that's incredible. Well, where are these rolls coming from? Oh my lord. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. We resolved two of the fires. Yuri's up next. Let's see if we can make it three for three. The space hat trick. The spat trick. The, the spat. Forget it. Here we go. Okay. All right. 16, not bad. So we'll do two, four, four, and see if we can re-roll five. Perfect. Perfect. And the one down here. Whew. Oh boy. Okay. First round down. Pretty much half of the fires put out. That, now that is a good round. That is how the last one should have gone. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. All right. Now we're going to find out if these fires are going to reignite. I've got a feeling that they are. I've got a feeling they're going to come right back. Let's see. So we take all of the damage. Of which there are four. Now we can give people food or cannibalize. Um, hmm. Well, as it was then, so is now. What should we do, chap? Crunch or nonch? What are we feeling? Neither. They don't need it. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay, nothing. Nonch. Nonch all the way. Lots of people saying nonch. Lots of people saying nonch. There's plenty of nonch. No? Okay. All right. Fine. In fact, there's... I realize actually there's... Guys, there's one person... There's one person I realize that we haven't actually asked about this. Um, Des, what do you think? All right. Okay. Well, Des, Des is saying that he feels nonch as well. Um, so, I think we're nonch them. I think we're nonch. All right. We're going to finish up there. <clears throat> I knew it. I, I knew that that was going to happen. Quick ch What changed, chat? What... What change? Nothing, nothing has changed. I've always been like this. Nothing has changed, chap. Nothing, nothing has changed. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so. I see where we've gone wrong now. I think... We should have been moving Pakal more over here so that we can get the maximum repair. 
Now, Yuri can go straight over here because he takes no movement damage. So we'll move Yuri here and we will try and repair the hull. Okay, we take an injury, but we can repair the hull by two. So, let's re-roll them and see if we can get another two. A one and a four. Okay, well, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I feel like we'll stick the four here. And then we'll use the duct tape and get the one back. There we go. So now we've got four. And we can... Uh, <laughs> thanks, everyone. Thanks <laughs> thanks very much for the compliments. So we'll do that, and we'll finish up our deployment here. <sighs> and we're going to have to resolve some of these fires now, because this is, this is out of control. Okay. Let's roll it up. Okay. Mm, he takes damage. It's not the best. So... We'll put the two down here, repair the place by 17. We'll use the three here. We'll chuck the six in here to heal the hole by one, and then we'll give him his dice back. Okay, so the hole is back to nearly full. Oh boy. Okay, so now we need John, really to resolve this. Like, we need Sean to resolve this. Oh my lord. What a roll. What a roll. Okay, so we need six up here. Thirteen. Alright. We'll reduce this down to nine and we'll roll them back up again. Oh my god! An eight? Are you serious? An eight? Oh my goodness me. Oh man, bye Miss Sunflower. Thanks for stopping by. Always great to have you here. Oh my lord, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay, we'll put it in research. So we've just got to survive this round. Oh my god. <laughs> um, right, well we have two food. So I don't think in this instance it's a crunch or nonch decision. I mean, if you guys are okay with it, chat, I'm just going to feed our guys. Because we need to get them all up to maximum dice. Um, because this is the last round. So... If it's all right for you guys, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give them what they need. Yeah, good idea. All right, fine. So we're gonna heal up our boys. <sighs> okay. So. Really, we need the repair arm. We need... We need you. I know what we need. We need Yuri to repair the hull by the maximum value. And then we need the repair arm. Right. We've got two pairs, chat. And we need three of a kind. What are you guys feeling? Are you guys feeling fives or are you guys feeling threes? Because I'm happy to go with either. But what do you guys think? Fives or threes? For the next roll. You guys are feeling the threes. You guys are feeling the threes. Okay. Alright. Well, if you guys are feeling the threes, we'll put the two threes up here. And then we will hope... That we roll another three. Oh, man. 
Oh my god, everything apart from a three. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. And we didn't need a two either. Oh, we didn't need twos. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. So we'll put the four down here. Oh, what a waste of a roll. There's literally nothing that we can do with twos. There's no point repairing the module by seven. Okay. Alright, yeah. We've got to leave it like that. So. Now what? Now what? Oh man, Paula Serenity, thank you very much for the 169 bits. That's that's awesome. Thank you. I think we move Pakal to here. We take the two points of damage. And we roll to get the repair arm and that last one. So we need we need a three. Okay. Okay. Alright. There's the three. There's the five. Now we've got fours and twos. Thank you very much for joining, by the way, Paul. It was great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us today. So. We've got to flat we re-roll them. We've got to flat re-roll them, but this is going to be tough. Oh, so close! Okay. So that's three out of the five, and then we're stuck with fours and twos again. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I mean, pff, there's nothing we can do with them. We can't re-roll them again, unfortunately. We only get two re-rolls. So... Jean. It really is up to you now, mate. <laughs> we need a three, a five, or a six. Okay. There's the three. There's the five. There's the repair arm. We'll resolve this as well. We'll reduce his stress. <laughs> and we did it! <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Okay, that. Now that was a good round. Now that was a good round. Whew. Oh boy. Oh my lord, okay, alright, 519 on the win, but there we go, mission complete, we did it, the trial by fire is over, no more gas leaks, we absolutely smashed it, we smashed it, chat, whew, oh boy, oh my goodness, that deserves, do you know what that deserves? A victory die. Oh, ma'am. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you very much, Chaotic Awesome, and to 69 Cookies Gum for the 169 bits. Nice. Okay. All right. So, chat, how did you feel about that? Like, how did you feel about... Do you want to do another mission? Or do you want to continue the main campaign and see if we can actually win overall? Like, what time are we on? We've been streaming for about two hours and 50 minutes now. So we got time. Oh, Electric Arcana. Thank you. Oh, sorry. X -le X Electric Arcana. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Do you want to do another mission? Should we do the main campaign? I don't know. I don't know. Another mission could be fun. Okay. What do you feel like? Do wow, Jory. Throwing it right back. Jeez Louise. I Jory, I was... I was not prepared to be asked what my preference was. Woof. Okay, I feel like doing another mission. 
I feel like the missions could be fun. All right. Knickknacks, that's okay. Thank you very much for joining us today. Tell your friends about RQ streams, and we'll see you next time. Um, let us... Let us try You Shall Not Pass. So, this is a strategy one. Ah, oh, Ostentatious Disaster. First of all, what a name. Secondly, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for the sub with Twitch Prime. Okay, so... Wild dogs in space. Yes, I know. A pack of wild dogs got out. Don't let them eat all of our food. Um, I know. It's, it's, it's awkward, but it happened. So, you shall not pass. The crew, already suffering from injuries sustained while bolstering the hull, is now faced with a veritable smorgasbord of events. Survive one week. Okay. Oh... Uh, oh. Right. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, wow. Chat. Miss Zilla M, by the way, thank you very much for the 200 bits. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. So, hmm. So, I think, right, chap, having a look over the board, the system failure, I think, is actually a red herring. Because Yuri can move all the way to the end if he wants to. It's only these guys who can't. I think that's a red herring to throw us off. What it does mean, though, is that if one of these crew members moves through, they will take health damage for the number of things that they go through. And they only have two health each. The only issues here that we need to resolve are this one, this one, and this one. As far as I can see. Because if we resolve both of these, then they don't lose any health. And if we resolve this one, then that means that's cheaper than this one, and less stressful, and it means that we save the hull. But how do we do this? So, we've got Joy Lee... Commander Nikki and Kayla. Now, the way this works, or the way I'm thinking of doing this, I don't think we'll ever have a situation where everyone is in one compartment. So, Kayla's special ability is pretty much out. Joy's special ability may come in useful. So, Joy has three dice, Nikki has two, Kayla has four. So I think the way we should do this is we should put Nikki in here, take the one health hit, and resolve the seven. I think, I think that's how we're going to do it. I agree with you, um, Signed Tree, that we could use Kayla's ability here, get everyone's health up by one, and then only Yuri actually dies. But doing it this way, we actually save everyone, potentially. So, I think, I think I'm gonna try it this way. I'm gonna put Nikki in here. We're gonna take the one hit. We're gonna try and resolve this seven. There we go, eight, straight out the bat. Straight off the bat, Commander Nikki shining through as our MVP once more. Now, this is where it gets difficult. Because Yuri really should be in here. Because he only has one health. Kayla? I think this is your time, girl. 
I think this is your time. Oh my god! Okay, it's exactly 14, which is what we needed. But good god did that assist save us. Jesus! Jesus! Okay. All right. Yuri, it's your time, dude. You're up. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the hell? What the hell, Yuri? What the hell? Wow! On the big rolls, we just absolutely smashed straight through. Wow! My god! Alright, well, Joy. I don't know if I want to put Joy in here because we're on top now. I don't think I want to put Joy in here because we've won. We've survived. Nah, fuck it. I'm healing her. <laughs> I'm, do you know what? No. Do you know what? No. I'm healing her. Like, this is gonna happen. I'm not sure how, but it's gonna happen. There. Boom. Back to full health. Perfect. One and three down here, which means that that's it. We did it, and everybody lived. Ta-da! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god, chat. Oh my god, we did it. Wow. Wow. We are absolutely annihilating these challenges. I genuinely was not expecting to go through them this quickly. Mm. Wow. Okay. All right. Fine. We won. We did it. We smashed it. Next challenge. Bring it on. <laughs> oh my lord. Man, by the way, Landra Varling, thank you very much for the two month sub uh, with Twitch Prime and the hearts. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining. Um, Excellent Crow, thank you very much, uh, very much for the 100 bits and Miss Zilla M. Thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Okay. Oscar says, should we do the doggo mission? Well, I feel like it's only fitting. Whoops. I feel like it's only fitting that we do the doggo mission and find out once and for all who did let the dogs out. And for this, where are you? I'm going to be joined by my doggo partner in crime. It's dog meat. <laughs> Here he is. I don't know if you can see him. There you go. Hello, dog meat. Hello. There he is. Hello, dog meat. You gonna come and join me on my desk? You gonna come and sit here with me? Okay. Dog meat's gonna come over and sit with me. Um, right. Okay. Who let the dogs out? A pack of wild dogs got out. Don't let them eat all of our food. I love how it literally doesn't explain why, where the wild dogs came from. <laughs> Minus one food per turn, 20% stress, survive five weeks with at least one food remaining. Okay. Uh, there are the wild dogs. Hmm. Okay. Wow, why not just kill the dogs and eat them? Jeez Louise. So, can we resolve the wild dogs? Can that happen? Can we can we just do that? I don't know. I mean, do you know what? Let's try it. Don't let them eat our food. Minus one food per turn. Plus 20% stress per turn. I mean, why not, right? I stand corrected. <laughs> hmm. Let's just give it a go. Here we go. Right. Okay. Not a particularly good start. So that's four, eight, and probably re-rolled the two. Probably re-rolled the two. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna re-roll the two. Of course. Um. Right. Let's shove it in research. We'll see if we can get plus seven repair. Now. Now then. Let's put John in here, and we'll get his dice back up. Now, John can reduce people's stress, so he's a good guy to keep around. But let's get him some dice. Perfect. Two dice, maximum dice. We'll re-roll this two, and get a four. So, John, John, after all of this, is actually turning out to be a little bit of an MVP. But I don't understand how this happened. Yuri, going in for the wild dogs next. We'll use our special tools to bring it down by seven. And we'll roll it up. Okay. There's the six. That resolves the wild dogs. <laughs> um, whatever that means. And then I guess... And then I guess we put the one and the two down here and re-roll the other one? Question mark? For another two. All right. Did we? Did we win? Did did we win? <laughs> Question mark. I don't know. I don't know anymore, chap. Okay. Minus thirty percent stress for all. Minus one to hull. No movement damage and minus two to hull. Okay. All right. This is interesting. So. Do we want to take the 30% stress reduction, which might be useful because, of course, our stress is going to go up every turn, or do we want no movement damage, which means that we can, everyone can move through anywhere that they want to with no penalty? Uh, let me know in the chat now. Just say left or right. Whatever you're feeling, we'll go with that. Mm. Whatever you like, whatever you want, less stress, it's hectic enough, that's true. Left, a lot of people saying left, adopt the wild dogs. I mean, no one thought of that, you know? No one thought that would be an option. Right, it's overwhelmingly left, so we're going to pick left. Now, now, we could kill a member of the, <laughs> of the team. Um, but I don't think that that's the thing that we want to be doing. Now, we need to be careful with our food. Because we have to... We have to... End all of this with one food, at least. So that's option. That's that's difficult. Yes, and by the way, yes, there is a kill option. So in the main game as well, if you run out of your uh, cannibalism food, you can just kill a member of the crew. Um, although thinking about it... If the aim of the game is literally to end with one piece of food. Hold on a minute. Let me just reread this. I can't. If the, if the aim of the game is to end this with one piece of food, then surely what that means is that the only thing we really need to do is just stay in the food area. I mean... I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. This time, let's give Kayla some food and we'll finish there and we'll see what happens. There's a pooch. On the ship. Chat. There's a pooch. On the ship. John. You see in this? It's a fucking pooch. On the ship. Everyone in the chat is like, why is there not an option to adopt? Yeah. Developers of Tharsis. Why isn't there? Why isn't there an option to adopt the dogs? All right. John, we believe. Resolve the dog. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That was quite possibly the best and worst roll we have 
ever done. Jeez Louise. Okay. A feral dog. One of the flea-bitten mutts that we needed to get rid of before they eat all of our snacks. Oh, man. Six plus six. And then do we flat re-roll these two? Maybe? I mean, we could still take a massive injury. Yeesh. This is difficult. Let's roll it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Six in there. Three in there. Plus one health to all crew? Wait, what were the other crew members on? I can't remember. Let's finish our deployment there. Okay, alright. So actually, maybe that's a good thing. Yeah, so everyone needs some health. So we'll increase everyone's health by one. There we go. Okay. Kayla, you're up next. In fact, let's just have a quick examination. Minus two health, minus two dice. Okay. Yeah, health health at the moment is more important. Because otherwise our boy John's going to die. So let's roll this up. Six plus five plus two. There we go. So that's that resolved. Uh, now, do we want to recover her health? I mean, it, do it wouldn't hurt to. So let's see what we get. Oh, well... Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, fine game. Jesus. All right, so a two and a two, which means, unfortunately, we're a little bit put out in this case. But that's fine. We can leave the module here. Now, I'm going to get Yuri over here to resolve this because I feel like this is going to become a running issue. It's just, did you see what I did there? Did you? Did you see? Did you see a running a running issue? Because dogs, they they do a run. Did you? Did you see that chat? A run, a run, a running issue. Did you, did you see? Did did you maybe? No, a little. No, it's alright. Don't worry. Okay, five, four, finish. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so. We're back again. Thank you very much, by the way, Ixlabritz Crow, for the 69 bits. Nice. Um, what are we going to do then, chat? So we can get plus one dice for us and 20% stress for us, or we can get my plus two health for me and minus one dice for John. To be honest with you, these are... This is a difficult one. This is a difficult one. So once again, I'm leaving it with you. Do we heal John? Do we give the other guys dice? Vote in the chat now. Okay. A little bit of right. We're having to think about it, though. So a few people have said right. A couple of people have said... Okay, more people are saying right now. More people are saying right. Okay. So you want to heal John. Normal robot says heal Jonathan Sims. <laughs> oh, man. So, always nice to have a Magnus Archives fan in here, along with all of the other ones. Okay, so everyone is saying right. Righto. So, we healed up John. Now, this is where it gets tricky, because this will be week three, which means we've got to survive this week plus two more, and then we need at least one food at the end. So, do we feed people? That's the question. Do we feed people? No feed. No, says the chat. No food. No, really? Do you not think so? No. Feed now and skip next week. No food, but they can get more. They can get more. That's true. It's diet time. Going on hunger strike. Okay, all right, fine. So we won't feed them this time. Not this time. Feed Yuri, a couple of people say. Okay, so most of the chat is saying no food. That's fine. We won't feed them this time around. What we will do is we will leave it and see what dogs we have to deal with. Okay. So this time we have a pooch and a mutt. Both of those are going to reduce our food by one. Not the biggest issue at the moment. Not the biggest issue. But still worrying. Okay, all right. So this time, I think what we should do is we should let Yuri dive in here first. 
and see what we can do. Because he's only got two dice now. He's rolled a double three. Which isn't necessarily what we want. Let's try again. Okay. A five and a four. I mean, that's better than a double three. That's nine. So we'll shove that up there, which reduces that down to six. I mean, it's not the best. But again, I mean, he couldn't resolve it anyway by himself. So it is what it is. All right. Kayla Jones. The Pooch. Do you know what, chat? Actually, I've been thinking about this while we've been going through. How about, right? You, you and me, chat. You and me. <clears throat> Let's just pretend, right? That every time we resolve a problem, we actually adopt the dog. Yeah? They're not going to be feral anymore. They're not going to be angry anymore. Every time we resolve an issue, we adopt the dog. How about that? Does that feel good? I think that feels good. I, I quite like it. But then again, I mean, it's just my internal monologue. Do you guys up for that? Yeah. A few people in the chat. Yeah. Puppy therapy. Adopt, don't shop. To be fair. X the Brits grow. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. We Bertie the dogs. I mean, probably not. We have so many dogs already. I mean, yeah. Resolve with hugs. Exactly, Plum. Exactly. All right. So we're going to try and adopt a putrid pooch. They probably just need a little bit of love. Now, Kayla has managed to somehow roll the worst possible roll. <laughs> wow. Okay. Kayla, come on now. Come on now, Kayla. You've got better than that in you. Oh my lord. There we go. A bit of an injury. But okay, so we've got 6, 12, 15. Right? 6, 12, 15. Plus 5. So, do we heal her to maximum or do we put it into research projects? I think we should heal her to full. We don't know what's going to come next. I think that's probably the best one. And Kayla's got a new doggo. Hooray! So, here we go. The final doggo that we need to resolve. John Park steps up to the plate. Well, we got eight, four, five, six, seven. I mean, yeah, makes sense, right? And now we've got a one, which we can just shove into research. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The only issue now is we're on week four. We've got hardly any dice. And we're struggling. Okay. But there are ways that we can resolve that. So on the left, we've got plus one dice for all of the crew, but minus two health for us. And if we don't choose this option, he gets 10% stress. Or plus, oops, sorry, plus one food for all of us, minus one health for all of the crew, and these guys get 10% stress. So, what are we feeling, chat? Left or right? It's up to you. Let me know what you're feeling, and we'll go with that. Right. Everyone's feeling right. Okay. Interesting. Because. Interesting. Okay. Looks like we're going right. Okay, so the chat is saying right. We're going to go right. That's interesting because I definitely would have gone left on that decision. Now, do we feed? Bearing in mind that now we only have two days... We only have two days to be able to uh, get some food. We need at least one food. A propos of nothing. DM had a Cerberus, oh, with serial numbers, filed off in our game recently. And named the heads Left Benson, Right Benson, and The Hungry Benson. And now that's all I can think of. <laughs> Amazing. So a few people are saying kill one of the crew. No feed, crunch Yuri. Really? Wow. My goodness, this is a strong play. Do Is that what you guys are feeling in the chat? You genuinely feel like we should kill one of the crew members. Is that what you're feeling? Because I'm not sure if I'm down for that. 
No. No feed Yuri. No. Okay. All right, good. Phew. Oh, boy. There is some hope. <laughs> Not yet. Wow. So, you think we should feed Yuri? I would, I would agree with that, to be honest with you. I would agree with that. So, let's feed up Yuri. Should we feed John as well? I mean, I don't know. It depends on the difficulty that we're going to face. Like, should we feed John? What do you think, chat? No. Keep the last food. Okay. So you're not feeling like it. Do we have any statements? <laughs> not right now. Unfortunately, there are dogs, but there are no statements on the ship. Okay. All right, so it looks like we're finishing up there. Let's see what we're left with. So, we have a system failure, minus one food, and minus two dice for everyone. Okay. All right. That's a difficult situation. So, let's get Kayla into this 12 and let's start resolving. We'll get rid of this system failure first. There's the assist coming in. Straight to 12. Perfect. Straight to 12, no messing about. Job done. Right. Now the difficulty starts. Because really, we should put both John and Yuri in here and try and get some food back while resolving this issue. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll start with Yuri. We'll put Yuri in here. Wow. Brutal. Okay. Because we have two ones, I feel like we should just harvest. So now we have another food. Yeah, Raleigh, that's what happens with Void. Void is relentless. So now we have one more food. But we're going to get minus two dice next turn. Because we essentially lose two food this turn. However, I'm going to put John in here. And roll it up, because I think... I have a cunning plan. There's another void, but we get another food, and that's what's important. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, it's a little bit tense. It's a little bit tense now, but we're still cracking on through. Now, do we give these guys plus two dice, but minus two health? Or do we give plus one food and minus one health for all of the crew? Put your decisions in the chat now, guys. This is the final day. All right. What are we feeling? Wow, the chat's a little bit divided. Oh, not so much anymore. Lots of left. Lots of left. Pretty much everyone is saying left. Okay. All right. Few for the right, most for the left. All right. So we're going for the plus two dice, minus two health. Okay. All right. Now... Here's my plan. I think that we shouldn't feed anyone. I think what we should do is keep that food, put everyone into food generation, and hope for the best. <laughs> I think that's what we should do at this stage. I don't know what's going to come up this time, though. This might be, knowing Tharsis, this will be the screw you over round. So this could be the bit where they just absolutely wipe us out. But I think that that is what we should do. No, everyone's saying that they agree or you seem to agree. All right. So we'll finish up there. Now, at the moment, we're in a minus three food situation, which is difficult. However... What are we able to generate this time? So we're able to generate a maximum of two food. Yeah, the alpha doggo is up here. Hmm. Now this is difficult. If we, de if we defeat the alpha, do the rest of the dogs go? I don't know. What, what happens? The leader of the pack. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um... 
get rid of the minus two mutt. I mean, we could try. We could put Yuri over here and see if we can resolve this 14. But we're going to need a lot of luck here, chat. We are going to need a lot of luck. Oh, boy. Okay. Let Are you guys believing? I think I believe. I think we can do this. Take the assist. All right. Do you know what? I'm willing to try. We'll take the plus two assists. Oh, my God. Plus two food. Wow. Okay, that's a game changer. Plus two food. Oh, thank you very much for the 38 bits, by the way. Oscar, it's wonderful. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, now it shows up. That's... Oh, man, this is so tough. So, do we take... Do we take... This? Let's just roll it up and see what we get. Well, thank God for the assists. 3-1-1. Wow, what a shit roll. Okay, let's just flat re-roll it. I think we need to. Are you serious? Okay. What do we do? Thanks, chat. So I think we put the four in here, the one in here, then we put the one up there, and we aim for this. I think that's what we need to do. John, so we're going to lose... We need to generate four food. Basically, that's what we need to do. Can we do it? Yes, we can. If Kayla rolls a double in here, plus one from... Oh, no. Because that makes two. Oh, no, I... I don't know if we can do it. Because we need two to resolve this. Two dice to resolve this. We need two dice to resolve this. She only has three. Oh my god, this is this is difficult. I don't think we can do it. I don't think I don't think right now there's actually any combination that will see us through. Even if we put Kayla in here. Between Kayla and John in the Hydro Garden, yeah, but that only generates two food, and we're gonna lose four food this turn. What we need is that plus the Hydro Garden. And now we can't get that. Yeah, I don't I think that's it, chat, unfortunately. I don't think that there's I don't think there's any way that we can do this, so I might as well roll it up in here. Both of those dice go straight into the void. Then a three, which doesn't really get us very far, which we can shove down here. Finish deployment. John, it's up to you. We dreamed of a doggo dream. We left with a doggo void. And that's it. Gone. Unfortunately, not this time, chap. Unfortunately, not this time. There's the mission failure. Oh, man, that... Now that was hard. That was genuinely difficult. But the worst part about it is... I don't really know where we went wrong. Like, I just feel like... We fell afoul of some bad rolls, and and that was it. Like, there wasn't really anything else that we could have done better. Not Crunch and Curie, wow. Um, whew. Boy, oh boy. Alright. So, in that case then, 
We've got about half an hour left on the stream, guys. So, should we try again? Let's try it. I feel like we should try it one more time. I feel like we should go back in and see if we can actually get a better result than that. Because I don't feel like... That's not how I want to go out on an RQ stream stream. Like, no, no way. You know what, game? No. That's what I say. No. We're going to go back in and we're going to resolve this issue. All right. Okay. This system fail is pointless. Like, we know that that is actually just useless. It doesn't change anything. Yes, we need to build up plenty of food. The problem is we start with maximum food. That's the difficult bit. So, what do we do? I think we need to sort out our dice first. Because at the moment, no one is on maximum dice. And our hull is fine. So, let us sort out our dice. So, we'll put the six in here, the three in here, the two in here. There we go. So, Kayla now has almost maximum dice and also maximum health. Perfect. Perfect. Jono. In fact, no. Yuri next. Come on, Yuri. Okay, there's no threes in there. But there are sixes and fives, which I'm going to put into research, and we'll re-roll these two. Four and a one. Not necessarily what we needed, but I'll tell you what. It packs out our research quite nicely. So we'll leave that down there, and we'll finish deployment. Come on then, John. Let's see what you got. Can you give us a three? You can. All right, so an extra couple of dice for John. We'll re-roll both of these because there's nothing we can do with fours. We've got the last three that we needed. Uh, so now we can actually use one of these if we want to. I think we'll get his health up because we know that there are some dogs coming that are going to do a lot of damage. And then we'll reduce everyone's stress by 20%. Finish deployment. That's the first round. Everyone is on maximum health. Pretty much everyone has got full dice, almost. That's okay. I feel like this is better than it was before. So, here's the difficult bit, though. Do we want plus one health for everyone, or do we want minus 20% stress? Minus one hole, minus one dice. You guys vote in the chat now. Tell me what you're feeling. What would you like? We have enough for seven repair. That is true. A lot of people are feeling right. A lot of people are feeling right. Okay. Yep, it's pretty much unanimously right. So we're going to go right. Now, I don't feel like... I don't feel like we need to eat anything right now. Because, ultimately... Ultimately, we're pretty good. Ultimately, we're pretty good. So I think what we should probably do is leave our food as it is and just carry on. If you guys are happy with that. What do you think, chat? What are you feeling? You guys feeling that? Maybe? No food. Yeah? No food. Alright, fine. Cool. Let's finish up there then. So we got a few pooches now. A doggy, a mutt, and a pooch. All of whom are going to give us minus one food. So that's something that we need to resolve. Jono, you're up. Let's see what you can do. Okay, all right, so a 16 straight out. That's pretty good. Chuck the three up there. We'll stick the one down here. And then plus three dice to the active crew member. Wow, that's pretty good. All right, so that's one resolved. Kayla, right up here. Reroll about. So, that's 12. So we've got 6 here and a 3, 2, 1. So I think if we use 7 repair and then use the 2, we can put the 1 and the 3 in here to top up our research again. And that's that resolved. Perfect. Excellent Bricks Crow, thank you very much for the tier 1 gift sub. Yuri, up next. We're protecting our food as best we can. Okay, alright, so that's an 11. Not 
quite what we were looking for, but I'll take it. Do we want to leave this unresolved? Well, we're going to have to now, aren't we? And there we go. All right. Second round. Feeling a little bit more confident about it this time. I think this is feeling a bit better. So, chat. Minus 30% stress for all crew, but minus one hull. Or plus two health for John, but plus 20% stress for all crew. Now, to be honest with you, John already has maximum health. <laughs> so, I mean, in my mind, this is a no-brainer. Like, yeah, I'm feeling absolutely left. I'm feeling absolutely left, yeah. I'm glad that you guys are too, yeah. Screw you, John. Um, right. So this means we're left with two food. Now, do we feed Yuri? Now, that's a tricky one. Do we feed Yuri? Hmm. It'd be useful... What a Tim Stoker moment that was. Which bit? Which bit? We have the boost from research. Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Maybe we shouldn't feed him this time, chap. I feel like... Mm, I feel like we should leave it. Yeah, I feel like we should leave it. Cruel. Oh, screw you. Oh, that bit. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. All right, we'll leave it like that. Minus two dice to everyone. Okay, interesting. So I think now at this stage, we should be focusing on our food. Because minus two dice is a thing, but we can at some point just give someone plus three. So I feel like if we resolved one of these, that would be fine. It's the food one that I'm more worried about. So let's give, let's get Yuri in here again. See if we can resolve this four, which we have done. So we'll chuck the five in here. We'll chuck the four down here. And that resolves the minus one food. Okay, all right. That's getting somewhere. That's good. That's really positive. Now, the next one. The next one is going to be... Minus two dice. Welcome back, Frank, by the way. Good to have you here. The next one is going to be... Maybe Kayla? Hmm. It's hard. Maybe John, actually. I think if we put John in here... To try and get rid of one of these minus two dice so we don't lose everything... Well, we're going to actually know. We're going to lose everything anyway. Actually, we don't have any negative food modifiers. So let's put John in here and try and get more food. Because that's actually the goal. Four, five, six. Wow. Man. What, what a roll. <laughs> if only we actually needed that. If only we... If only we actually needed that. Oh, boy. Can we do a raid on the Meredith channel after the stream? We can do. Are they streaming right now? What time do they start streaming? They haven't actually told me. Um, I'm just going to flat re-roll all of this. Oh my god. A 1, a 3, and a 4. Okay. That's pretty useless. So I think what we'll do is we'll give John the energy boost. And we'll use the 1, 3, 4 in here. So that tops up that. And then we'll get Kayla in here to try and get us some food. It starts at 7 p.m. All right. Okay. Well, if they're starting at 7, yeah, we can absolutely raid them. So we've got a 1, a 3, and a 6. Still not useful. What have we got? Aha! Finally. Finally. Two fives. Okay, fine. Perfect. Um... In that case, I think that's all we can do. Because we can't use that three for anything else. So, we'll leave it at that. Oh, boy. Okay. Alright. So, next decision. 
minus 30% stress and minus one hull, plus one assist, minus one hull. I mean, to be honest with you, again, John's option is totally pointless. Once again, John just lets the team down. Oh, for goodness sake, John. What happened, man? What happened to you? What What are you going through, John? Chat, what are you feeling? What are you feeling? Are we feeling left or right? Let me know below. Tell me what you think. Everyone's saying left. I mean, to be honest with you, I think this is an obvious choice, but I wanted to check with you, chat. I just wanted to make sure that you guys were happy. So, let's go with that. I'm happy with that. If you're happy with that, let's go with that. He has been through a lot. That is true. He has been through a lot. All right. Okay. Now then, we have no dice, which means that gathering food in week four is going to be very difficult. So, what do we do? Do we feed someone? Hmm. I think maybe... I think maybe we should feed someone. Crunch time, wow. So you guys think that it's time to kill one of the crew? Where are their stress levels? Well, their stress levels are on the left here, and they are gonzo. A little bit of altruism. You know, to be honest with you, chat, you may be on to something. The problem is, we know at the very end we're going to end up with a situation where we're going to have minus two and minus one food modifiers. Now, if we kill someone, it eliminates the, po the possibility of them doing anything. What is this game about? Well, welcome, Necrotic Badger. This game is a space game about feeding people and fixing a spaceship. <laughs> Played with dice rolling. It's pretty excellent. Um, I think murder is always the answer. Can't have a stream without altruism. Okay. Well, chat, do you know what? I don't think that killing someone is the right thing to do. I don't. I don't think it's the right thing to do. I think what we should do is we should feed them the food that we have, then use the dice that it gives us to generate more food. I think that's what we should do. So... I'm sorry, chat, but I'm going to have to make an executive decision this time. Rather than murdering someone, I'm going to give Yuri and Kayla both food. And then, when these come in, here we are. Now, two dice, two dice, two dice. Okay, we need to generate some food. So, let's get Kayla in here first, and then we'll roll it up. 13. Okay, but that's three fours. So I'm going to go four, 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 four. That gives us two food back. How many people have been eaten so far? Not very many, actually, uh, Brecker. Not very many. I re-roll this one. And we get the two that we needed. That's pretty effing amazing. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. That's pretty good. I think if... I think at this stage we should re... Actually, I think we should re-roll our... Um, I think we should re-roll our research. We've got some good stuff down here, like preventing stasis and all of that stuff, but I think we should just use one research to re-roll it all and see if we can get some food generation stuff. So. Prevent void. Oh my god, I know. I know, it's so unbelievably useful. But I think we should re-roll all of them. So. Let's finish our deployment. Okay, minus two, minus two, minus two. 
We need to resolve this first. No, we don't. Let's re-roll. Okay. That's not the best. But what it does give is John an extra dice. Now that is pretty useful. Given that we're not feeding anyone from this point onwards. But let's get Yuri in here first. And we'll roll it up. Let's try and get this dog adopted. So that's 15. So we got 6, 5, 3, and then we've got one left over, which goes in here. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Job done. One more dog adopted. Whew. And a minus one. Oh my goodness. It is basically just Space Yahtzee um, Catastrophizer. <laughs> it pretty much is. Man, but it's so much more than that. It's got storyline, it's got plot. Did I mention it's got plot? Okay. Alright. This is an alright position to be in. Now, I'm not entirely convinced by these. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. I'm not entirely convinced by these, so I'm gonna re-roll these again. Okay. Well, we got minus... We got 28 repair in one module. That's pretty good. Now, do we think... Do we think that if we get the alpha doggo, the rest of the doggos will disappear? Do we think do we think that that's a thing? Do we think that might be a thing? Because if we do, we should keep that 28 repair in one module and then we can use it on the alpha. Might as well try it. You're not convinced, chat. And I get that. I get that. All right. We do also have no movement damage here as well, which is very very useful. No, the game's not that kind. I mean, that's a very valid point. Well, in that case then, we've got John who has one dice to roll. So, I don't really know what we're going to do with him. Genuinely. I mean, we could try and resolve some of these. See if we can get this 10 down to like, you know, a 4. That might work. But then we've only got one week left. And everyone's dice are going to go all the way down. Oh, boy. Um, I might... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Let's try and get the one. Let's try and get the one. Well, there's a two. Oh, my God, John. Please. <laughs> please, John. Why do you do this? Why are you like this? Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Finished deployment. There's nothing more we can do. So everyone is now going to lose all of their dice. That's it. All the dice have gone. The system fails. Don't do anything. Plus one food. Oh, my lord. Plus one dice for all crew at the cost of two hull. I mean, for me, chat, this one's a bit of a no-brainer. But I'm going to leave it to you guys. Do you want plus one dice for all crew or plus one food? Left or right, stick it in the chat now. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're thinking. Everyone's very hungry right, right now. Left. Wow, everyone is saying left. Everyone is saying left. Apart from one food and kill John, possibility. Everyone's saying left. We're going to go with left. Which means that everyone now has two dice. And we have one food left. Now, from what I remember, at the end of this round, we need to finish with four food. We need to finish with four food. So, do we want to kill a crew member or not? What do you guys think? I'm usually... To be honest, whenever I play through this game, I'm usually against killing the crew because you just limit the number of opportunities that you have. But, I mean, what do you guys think? I'm going to leave it to you in the chat. Do we want to kill someone or no? A lot of people are saying kill John. Kill Yuri, that's an interesting shout. Crunch John. What do you what do you think we think? Crunch. Okay, everyone's saying crunch. Crunch John. We crave murder. Crunch John. All right, well... Are you guys sure this is what we want to do? We're moving the kill switch here, guys. 
Oh, it's it's going, chat. It's a it's a going. Altruism time. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, chat. Perhaps it is time for altruism. Chat, it's coming. It's coming in. You're gonna say your last goodbyes to John because he going. This is what you have chosen, chat. He he going. This is the end. My only friend, the end. This is it. Boom. He's gone. We did it. We've murdered John. Chat. We've murdered John. That's... That's it. So now... I assume... That what we need to do... Is feed both of these guys... With our new cannibalism murder juice. TM. Property of Rusty Quill thereafter. So... A little crunchy snack. Leave them hungry. Wow. <laughs> wow, now that is brutal. Alright, so... No, we're gonna feed these guys both up. Their stress is going to go up massively. And here we go. Minus two food. So all we need is to fix this and then generate... Yeah, all we need is to fix this and then generate two more food. Yeah. Or one more food. In fact, thinking about it. Yeah, we need to fix this and generate one more food. So, let's give it a go. Alright. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do, chat. We're going to put the one in here. We're going to repair the module by 28. We're going to put the sixes over here. And I think, to be honest with you, chat, that's it. I think we've just won. We've got two threes, but there's nothing we can do with that. But I think that's it. I think we have just figured this out. We've got to leave the module because there's nothing more we can do. Yuri is having a great time. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think this is it. I think this is it. Another food in the bank. We've got a four. We've got a five. What else can we do down here? No movement damage. I mean, it doesn't matter now. I think this is it. I think we have just won the game. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. We've got a six down here as well. Plus one die to all of the crew. Do you know what? Why not? Finish deployment. Job done! Yay! Oh my lord, chat. Oh my lord. We have officially crunched our way to victory. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear, <laughs> that, now that is a lot of blood. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, the score wasn't the best, um, given the fact that our stress was at 66%. Um, <laughs> oh boy. That is, uh, that's a time. That's a time right there. Whew. But we did it. I mean, I don't feel good about it. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. But we got there. Right, chat. I'm gonna level with you. We're ten minutes to the end. We've got roughly enough time to do one more mission. So here's what I'm gonna do, chat. I need to go and top up my water. And I'm gonna leave you guys... Ugh, sorry. I'm gonna leave you guys to have a think. Nerdy, ginger, and proud. Thank you very much for the 69 bits. Um... I am going to leave you guys to pick what you would like out of these. Shipwide system failure, in media res, or le freak. Say chic. Have a think about it. I will be back. I will be back very shortly. I promise. I won't be long. I'm going to leave you guys to it. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, chat. Bye-bye. Boop. Boop. Hello. Hi, chat. I'm back. It's me. We're back. Um, right. Thank you very much for bearing with me, everyone. I have got myself some water. I'm going to rehydrate. Uh -oh. So, what was the vote, everyone? I'm having a look back up the chat now. Let's have a look. Mike, you forgot to change your t-shirt. I know. 
I know. I did think this would be another opportunity to potentially not change anything because literally nothing has changed this entire stream chat. Nothing. <clears throat> nothing has changed. Everything's the same. Nothing could possibly have changed. Um, but, I mean, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't feeling it at the time. Uh, thank you very much, Matt. I'm, I'm love you too. Um, did you guys pick something? Did you guys pick what you wanted to have a look at in our last, like, few minutes on the stream? We were supposed to do a thing. Yeah, we were supposed to pick, like, which one we wanted to do. That's okay. That's alright. You don't, you don't have to. Vote Le Freak for Le Beau 2020. Um, pick a mission. Yeah, you want to, you want to try Le Freak. Me choose. Wow, that's very kind of you, to be fair. Uh, 10 out of 10. Perfect. Uh, Le Freak. Possibly. It's looking like we're going to do Le Freak. Okay. Le Freak se challenge. <clears throat> a leak of chemicals. Well, in fact, you know what? Le Freak. A leak of chemicals has increased the levels of nor... nor pine frin. Nor pine frin? No pine frin. In the crew. <laughs> Leading to high levels of anxiety and stress. Uh, survive five weeks with the crew. Stress at full stress? What? No. Nor Efrin. Cool, thanks everyone. I'm glad the chat has got my back because I've got no idea. Um, alright, okay. Le Freak. Here we go. So we have to survive five weeks with crew stress at maximum. Oh boy. Oh my god, look, we've got we've got Sophia <laughs> We've got Sophia Diaz! Oh my lord, I haven't unlocked Sophia yet. This is new. Oh wow, this is this is awkward. We guys, we've got a cannibal. We have got a cannibal aboard our ship. And we have to survive five weeks. <laughs> wow. Okay. Plus one food, minus one health. Jeez Louise, what a what a perk. <laughs> What a perk. Oh my god. Right, okay. Alright, fine. Do you know what? Fine. I accept this. I accept this. Let's just have let's just go with it. So we've got Nikki, we've got Jean. Jean is stuck in here with a 23, and the ship is about to explode. So let's start here. Oh wow. Oh wow. Is this these are blood dice. And normally you only get the blood dice once you have cannibalized. Are we- is this- is this a cannibal ship? How is this chic? <laughs> I thought this was going to be chic. This isn't chic. This is just- this has just got me shook. There is no chic. Wow. Man, okay, Senna name. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Wow. Okay. All right. Fine. So we got a five and a four, which I'm going to chuck in here. We got a two, which is now useless. So we might as well put that in there too. And then re-roll this. For a one. Wow. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to have to put the one down there. What's the next play? Well, I'm a little bit nervous about this, but I think it's going to be Sophia Diaz. I think it's going to have to be Sophia trying to repair this with Jean. I don't know if she should be in here. This is concerning. Right, so we got six. There we go. Well, that's that resolved at least, and we can re-roll the one and see if we get anything better. A three. I mean... That's not the best either. <laughs> but I mean, we can put it in here. And now we're one step closer to all of the crew having plus one die. Also, the ship isn't going to explode. Now, I feel like Nikki should try and resolve this issue at least a little bit. She can't resolve it to maximum. 
but we can at least try. So we got a six and a four. Now with a four with Nikki, we might as well re-roll it because we may actually just get something better. Another four. Another four. Okay. All right. Fine. In that case, then we'll chuck the four in there. Jesus. What? What is this game? <laughs> All right, and we'll finish our deployment there. Now, Joy, I'm not really tempted to bring her over here. I actually think she would be more useful here, trying to repair the hull. So this is what we're going to do. So we've got a three, a five, and a six. Now, do we put the three, do we put the five and the six in research? No. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Oh, man, come on. A two, a three, and a four? Really? Okay. So we're going to have to put the two and the four in here. We'll give the plus one die to all crew. And we'll chuck the three down here and we'll finish our deployment there. So we're in relatively good shape. However, this chat is a perfect example of what stress does to your crew. So everyone now is going to be making terrible decisions. Everyone is fragmented. We don't know what to do. So, either we can get plus two food and kill Sophia, uh, sorry, kill Joy. We can get plus 20%, minus 20% stress and minus one hull. We can get plus three hull and kill Sophia. Or we can get minus one health for all crew, but plus one dice for Nikki. Also, Jigathy, welcome. Welcome. Killjoy, I know. It, it writes itself, really. This It's just laugh after laugh, this game. It really is. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> um, okay. What do you guys want to do? Just say the name of the person that you want to go with. So we've got Joy, Jean, Sophia, or Nikki. What do you guys feel? Shy Magpie is feeling Sophia. It's a difficult one, this. It's difficult. Nikki, Green, Jean, Sophia. A few people are saying Nikki. But it seems like everyone is quite fragmented on this one as well. The whole chat. A lot of people saying Sophia now. You want to kill off Sophia. Joy. Sophia. Okay, well it seems like you guys are a little bit... A little bit stuck. So we have to survive five weeks. Right. Do you know what? Because we're a little bit over time, I'm going to go with Sophia. I mean, that was... That was pretty brutal. Um, and then I think what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to feed Nikki. Because we need to get her dice back up to full. This is going to reduce her health down quite a lot. But at the same time, she's now at maximum dice. Joy and Jean, I'm going to leave as they are. Because I think that that's fine. So let's finish up there. And we'll move forward. Okay. This isn't as good as I wanted it to be. So we've got a 14, we've still got this 8, and we've got a 27. Oof, blimey. Um, right, okay, let's start with Jean. Let's try and get this 14 resolved, because I think that this is going to be... I think this is just an easy start. Okay, so we've got a 6 and 3 1s. It's not the best roll, so let's try that again. We've got one in stasis, so we've got 6... No, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll use the five and the three. And then we'll take the six and we will... What will we do? If we reduce his stress... Does that stay like that? Because the purpose of this is to try and do it with maximum stress. Hmm. It might be worth a try. But then again, giving him plus one dice also would be very useful. Or, actually, do you know what? No. Actually, do you know what? No. We're going to put it in research, because research is quite valuable right now. Okay, so next one. Nikki. No, in fact, Joy. 
Let's get Joy to resolve this eight so that we can move Nikki. So we got five, six, seven, eight, and a four. So we're going to re-roll the four and hope we get a five. And classically, we get a one. So we'll put that in there. Now, we can give her plus three die, which means that she's now rolling much better next time. Uh, and we've got Nikki free to try and tackle this 27. Now, Nikki is our MVP. I'm quite confident that we can do this. Let's see how we roll. Okay. We got the one in stasis, but we do have a six. So that reduces it to 21. We've got 11 left on the table. Now, we could... We could get more food. But this is quite a dangerous one because it means we're all going to lose one health. So I'm going to put the one in there. So we repair this by four. And do you know what? I'm going to flat re-roll it. Oh, man. No, that was a bad decision. <laughs> that was a bad decision. Okay, all right, fine. So we'll reduce this by four. We've got two twos so we can get some food, and then we'll leave that at 13. I think that's the best that we can do. Okay. So here we go, chat. Minus one health, minus, uh, plus one health, minus one hull. Plus 30% stress, stress and minus one health for everyone. Or we kill Nikki and get two food. Now, because we're over time... I think I'm going to make this decision. I'm going to give the plus one health and the minus one hull because I think that that's the lesser of two evils in this situation. So, we'll feed Jean. We won't cannibalize this time. And now, let's see what we end up with. Okay, so this is a pretty dire situation. Let's get Jean up here because at the moment, this is going to kill all of our crew. So we need to get these resolved. That is not a good roll. <laughs> that is not a good roll. Wow, okay. In that case, right, so we're gonna... 6, 12, 18, 24, 20, Nah, so we can't do it now. I think that's it, chat. I think that's the end of it. Unless we put the one in here and re-roll this and get something really good. Harvest. Where was that? Where was that in the food mission? Oh my lord. Right, okay. No, oh, I might as well re-roll it and see what we get. At this juncture, I don't think... Yeah, more stasis. Okay, fine. So we got 13, which we'll chuck right up into here. And I think that's it, everyone. I think that's goodnight, Irene. So, let's try and resolve this if we can with Commander Nikki. Interesting. Okay, so we've got 17. So, 5, 10, yeah, 5, 10, 13. And then we will put the 4 into research, I guess. <laughs> um... Then we can put, we can use Joy to try and repair this. We need an 18 from Joy though. There's an injury. So she rolls 19. It's a pretty good roll from Joy. So we'll put that all into there. Okay, all right. We are gonna lose Nikki though. Okay, plus two health, minus two hull, plus one food, minus three health. I think, to be honest with you... Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, that's a tough one. We've got food, though, right? No, we don't have any food. Right, do you know what? I'm sorry, Jean. It has to be. See you, mate. Um, and we're going to give Joy the food. Now then, now then. <laughs> Here's what we need to do. We need to get Joy healed the F up. <laughs> there we go. There's the 5 for the full heal. There's the 16. And that's it. She's alone in space, but she's alive.
Now, Joy now apparently has a moral quandary. One food, minus one dice. Prevent injury and minus two hull. No movement damage and 20% stress. Oh boy, Joy- can Joy do this alone? I'm not sure. I don't know, chat. I don't know. And I can see the numbers dropping off as everyone is switching over to the Meredith brothers. Um, so, remember by the way, you can have it open on two, uh, two windows. You can do multi-streaming. Um, I think we go for the stress because that's the lesser of two evils. This is the last round, isn't it? I think we needed to survive five days. So we will cannibalize to get maximum dice. Okay. All right. So we lose three health. So we just need to heal her by one. What's the safe bet here? Yeah, we'll heal her by one. Boom! I think, I think, chat, that's it. I think. I could be wrong. But I believe we've just won. I think. I don't know. This is really tense now because I genuinely have no idea. Have we, have we done it? Did I miscalculate it? Yes! Oh my god, yes! We did it with one person left! Oh my lord. Oh my, oh my lord. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. What a time. What a time, chat. Mm. Catastrophizer, thank you very much for the five bits. And 69 cookies gone. Thank you very much for the 69 bits. Nice. Oh my god. Exletric uh, Arcana, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Wow. Wow. Non-binary star system, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Chat. That's it. That is Tharsis. That is how you play. Oh my goodness, what a time. Excellent. Britscrow, thank you very much for the 69 bits. Lady Saltshay, thank you for the 100 bits. And Oscar, thank you for the 36 bits. Are you here? Thank you for the 100 bits. Wow. I mean, I mean, what a game. I mean, what, I mean, what a game. I genuinely can't believe that we just did that. Like, I genuinely thought it was over for a while then, and we just came back so strong. We came back so strong. Wow. All right, gang. Well, that was Tharsis. I have been Mike. Thank you so much for stopping by today um, and tuning in. For those of you who are new here with Rusty Quill, we uh, produce podcasts and other awesome stuff. Links to all of our things are down below. Um, normally, at the end of streams, what we do is I tend to like hang around and chat on the Discord that we have. If you would like to join our amazing community on Discord, you can go to the link below and click the one that says Discord, and you'll be able to join through there. If you want to support the channel, I mean, thank you very much to everyone who supported the channel today. If you'd like to support the channel further, you can do so through Patreon. We have our Patreon links just below as well. And you get amazing benefits for going through that. So have a look at the Patreon page. See how you feel. And if you want to, then why not sign up through that? Um, in the meantime, though, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Now, we're going to raid. We are going to raid the Meredith brothers. And uh, we're going to try and we're going to try and spook them. We're going to try and freak them out a bit. All right, chap? Are you ready for this? Thank you for joining today, like I say. I will see you all next time, but in the meantime, enjoy the Meredith Brothers stream. I'll see you over there.
Oh, man, I love Tharsis so much. <laughs> I love Tharsis so much. What a good time. <clears throat> man, what an awesome time. That was, that was brilliant. I love that. I love that a lot. Mm. Oh, man. Oh. I'm so glad that that went well, actually. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed it. Like, genuinely, I love playing that game, and I love that you guys like playing along. Um, I hope some of you guys pick it up, actually, if you're able to. But, yeah. Honestly, great time. Great stream. Loved it. Whew. Time for me to go and sort myself out some food, I think. Some real food. So, chat. I'll catch you on the flip-flop. See you in the next stream.